Whichever of our Dave Morgan presents more gooder than a Dave Morgan joint by Dave Morgan movies is your favorite. We can all agree. We all watch these movies fully aroused. Am I right? Corey, drop that beat. <laughs> Craig, Welcome to more gooder than. What's up, home tree? What? Marty is stupid. <laughs> Boom. I actually very great. 1,000 years. Anyways. Consider that a Welcome back to More Gooder Than, where we rate and dissect pop culture one episode at a time. I'm one of your hosts, Chris Brayton. Join my co-host, Corey Sasso. What are these players? And Donnie the Drago Car. Hey, hey, hey. For those of you joining us for the first time here at MGT, Corey, Donnie, and I each take sides on a predetermined movie trio and try and sway the world to agree with our opinions on which one is most goodest. And today we have more bloody noses, sweaty man bods, and facial prosthetics than you can shake a gold medal at. Once in a generation, there comes a, a human, a human that for whatever reason is just better than anyone else. <laughs> they don't even have to try to be great. They just are we're lucky to have one of those beings with us seventh tier home tree dave the gator morgan is in the bunker with us gator what's up buddy hey what's up guys hey yeah <laughs> made it out two weeks in a row two That's weeks right. in a row. Thanks, thanks for, for coming back yeah. yep i know it's fair fairly far drive for you yeah, yeah i can take the we, five though <laughs> I, can't take the, I take the five to get to his house it's you take the fives to get to, yep. yeah well uh, we gotta drive in from bakersfield to get here yeah <laughs> you know Chris, <laughs> what's bakersfield every oh it's that big city you see those bright lights at night that are off in the distance that's yeah. big city that's every time i drive here when i pass panama it's i get this lord of the rings vibe like no it's rivendell that's the last homely house and then i enter the wild i leave the last vestige of civilization behind <laughs> i should take one more step it's farther than i've ever been yeah from home. <laughs> mr frodo i'll share the load <laughs> so dave picked lord of the rings for us <laughs> i want it i want the precious uh, Dave, uh, what movies did you pick for us? The Foxcatcher and uh, Creed. Is it the Foxcatcher? I think it's just Fox. It's just Foxcatcher. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, who, I don't want to. I don't want to. The Foxcatcher. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to correct you because you want. I figured Dave's well, been a, be wrong if you corrected it. Yeah, yeah sorry, Dave's sorry. been a wrestler, so I figured. Yeah, he the knew what he was truth talking about. Has so. been changed from this point forward. It is yeah. now called the Foxcatcher. The Foxcatcher <laughs> and the Creed, right? The Creed. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think that's another movie. The, the Creed. Creed. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a sequel to The Crow. <laughs> oh, Dwight Truth's favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's a big fan of The Office. Yeah, you he's referenced it like four times. It's so good. <laughs> Would you do The Office? Get? Everything Dave. in life can be referenced to The Office or Seinfeld. Or The Simpsons. <laughs> or Simpsons. What's that? What's or, The Simpsons? Or Knight Rider. What's that? I don't know what those <laughs> things are. I don't, I don't get those references. So who's got which movie? And uh, this this couldn't be more appropriate for this episode. Uh, find out in this, in this corner. corner. No. Ding ding ding! <laughs> ding dong! Uh, so I'm Team Foxcatcher, which is fun to say. See what I did there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh, with my boy. Yeah, I'm Team the Foxcatcher. Yeah, the Fox. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Team the Foxcatcher. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you two over there. Team Creed. Team Creed. Team Creed. Yeah. Team Creed. Apollo Creed? No, 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 no. It can't be Apollo Creed. He's dead. <laughs> he died in episode four. Donnie a new, Creed. A new, a new hope. It is Donnie <laughs> Creed. It is weird. Like, what would you go away if your name? Uh, we'll get into it. No, I mean, these, I, I, both good movies. I, I understand Foxcatcher was like an Oscar nominee or something. So was Creed. Okay, but yeah. Creed was much more fun. <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. I would have picked so <laughs> uh, Okay, so me, Corey. Team the Foxcatcher <laughs> and then Dave Donnie or David David Don David Adonis are uh Yeah. Don't you feel <laughs> mad that your your mom and dad didn't name you Adonis now? It's just Donald. No, I'm okay. Okay, you sure? I'll 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 live. <laughs> Donnie that Donnie fits on Team Creed because it's Donnie Creed. Dave, you should be on Foxcatcher because it's Dave Schultz. You sure you don't yeah. want to trade? I'll trade you my spot. <laughs> don't do it. He's I think I can tell you why I'm a little more he's cr critical of the movie. Yeah, he's but, he, he's yeah. Chinese being a Trixie Hobbit. <laughs> you don't want your names. Trixie Hobbit that sucks from us. That takes the spots from us, precious. 
It's almost, you should be like a, like a Bane Schmeagol. <laughs> you really adopted the fox catcher. I was born to <laughs> fox catcher wrestled in the hot room. I didn't see the light of day till I was a full grown man. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. Oh, a uh, Bane was in the room. Ah, don't kill us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You podcast with the, you podcast with the kids of a much younger <laughs> man, Dave Morgan. I guess we're doing Batman and Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Let's just change it. Let's just go home. We'll come back what? next week and watch, yeah. watch the movies. Welcome to, <laughs> welcome to Chris Poorly Does Voices. No, no, no. <laughs> Bane and Gollum are two things that Chris does well, so yeah, we, 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 let him, yeah. we let him have it now and again. Yeah. It hurts us. Yeah, th- those are your two best. Your two best accents. <laughs> hurts us, precious. Why does that hurt us? I know. Uh, so sit back, relax. Let the sounds of four grown men talking about buff dudes and how much we love them, while we <laughs> show you their goods. It's good. So, uh, Donnie, I bet you got to bet you got one of them. Them, them are quickies. Sure do. Yeah. The fox catcher. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Carell and Channing Tatum crank their usual explosive charisma to 11 in this wrestling themed remake of Psycho. Did you know that Steve Carell was in the office? <laughs> Where is he? I thought that was Michael Scott. <laughs> oh man, it's just going to be. He, he was nominated for an Oscar for this, right? He did an amazing job. Yeah. This. He totally took on a whole other character, especially for somebody who's like known for comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. And then, uh, and then so is Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo was yeah. nominated as I well. I thought he did very good. This, yeah. uh, okay. So you guys are wrestlers. I wanted to ask this, like, cause these guys were walking like just yeah. very different a, than the way a, they normally walk. Is that like a wrestler stance? Got, it's is kind it, of Cause a you're thing. so yes. used to being in that stance that you like, you yeah. default to it. I, I think you can speak on it too. There were their hands were just kind of like, like this yeah. when they were relaxed. And I was like, dang, like they are in it a hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah. Mark Ruffalo actually wrestled in uh junior high and high school and he was probably good enough to wrestle in college. So mm. it was pretty natural for him. Yeah. yeah. I, so we so one of the things is, is I've, I actually have never watched this movie because I have been told this story by my coach Shoney. Yeah. Uh, Shoney knew these guys. Yeah. Shoney was a Pan Am champ too and everything, just like Mark and uh, Dave were. So like I heard the story, like every, like he, he told my, my coach told me this story so many times th- that it was like, I think he forgot that he told me the story before. It's like, yeah, Shoney, I, I, I got it, man. Yeah. You got shot. <laughs> yeah. That really sucks. And but, it was in yeah. the news. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but we're wrestlers from California. Yep. So we've heard this story many, many times. Yeah. yeah. The but, way I heard it was a, like a uh, crazy fanatic, uh, stalker. Yeah. shot him and that's basically what's i mean yes a, yes and no yeah i mean yeah. like he was crazy he was a fanatic and he he did like he, but, but he knew them on a personal level that yeah. was the other thing yeah. too um but yeah it was uh yeah that you get mannerisms to the the loss of any weirdness about being close is another thing that you do you just like you know how everyone sure. like we're like the hugging stretches stuff. the stretches yeah. just like yeah. oh yeah that's just how you are like yeah. i i like it's one of the reasons i don't i don't ever care about hugging yeah or like i have no shame in like taking off my clothes yeah. because like when, oh because like oh i just stripped down no big deal like when i was you, studying jujitsu uh one day like nobody else showed up but me and so it was just me and my my sensei mm-hmm. and he got like like we did a bunch of stretches and stuff like that and yeah. i was just like Oh, okay. We're doing this. And then like eventually just kind of get used to it. You lose, yeah. But again, he's, he's, yeah. he's a master at like jujitsu and judo mm-hmm. and all these other things. So he's used to like getting in and, and, and seduction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so Corey, I'm sorry, man, to let you know. Yeah. It was a little weird. We reached up in between my legs and yeah. it was like stretching me out there. I didn't think that that was part of the, the art. There was an episode of, of how I met your mother, which is one of my favorite shows. And there was, they went to a gym and Marshall and Lily are with a married couple in it. And like, he was like, had a personal trainer and he was just like death or whatever. And she was just getting stretched out by a personal trainer. Mm-hmm. Well, it turned out that the personal trainer was just some dude. And he was like doing weird stretches. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, he didn't work there. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah. So they trained for six months yeah. in wrestling. Well, um, and Shane Tatum's always been, he was a wrestler too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they like, and then um, Steve Carell has been a crazy person before, yeah. so it's just <laughs> yeah. all really. But they yeah. they were getting so into the role that at one point, like when they were preparing to like um, to actually like start filming, mm-hmm. Channing Tatum told Mark Ruffalo, "Like it's going to happen at some point. So just slap the shit out of me, just to kind of like yeah. get that over with." He hit him so hard it popped his eardrum. Oh, I'm sure. Ah, yeah. God, that has yeah. happened to me. Yeah, 
And they actually, they, they used that take actually in the film. What's funny. Well, so the prosthetics in this movie were fantastic. Yeah. The ears, and the, the ears, yeah. the cauliflower ear, the, cauliflower the noses, yeah. the, even Mark Ruffalo's weird hairline. Yeah. yeah and that everything was Dave too. Schultz, that was, yeah. Dave, Dave was like, just had this, but then the only one that wasn't great was the nose was a little hawkish, but that, I mean, it was dead on, Yeah, but it was just like, I noticed it, but like, I, I always wore my headgear. Me too. So like, I do not have call. Me, me yeah. I, I have slight raising on the ridges in the back, but yeah. that's about it. So I do get some flack for not having it, yeah. but it's, it's like, a, nah. you're not a real wrestler. <laughs> no, you I just have your beautiful ears. I, I wanted to be able to hear and have them not. Um, Does it affect hearing too? I just always assume because like your ears are just like what this cartilage in there. And so like, it just gets worn yeah. down. I, mean, I, got, I assume that you still, can hear okay because the whole yeah you just like swollen up you can't put in like earbuds or anything like that it won't hold them yeah yeah, yeah. you have to, you have to only corner, wear this corner Dave pretty ears Morgan <laughs> <laughs> no, that is it, my boxing name yes <laughs> but it is a thing like uh, among wrestlers like oh your ears aren't bad it's like yeah, yeah because I wore my headgear so plus you're not, you're I was purist, I was yeah. a heavyweight so. Uh, brag you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well heavyweights aren't known for being like the you know shooters and. That's where you're, you're not you're, throwing my, people so around. That's and mine. Yeah. So like Suplexing. I, so what, what, I didn't wear them during practice, but it's like, yeah, just don't get your head locked and you're good to go. So, <laughs> oh, that, there you go. You, you just, just take the other guy down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, um, but man, so it brought back some good memories for me though. Watching oh, yeah. so the, the earlier stuff and everything, yeah. just the brothers in the room together. Yeah. The other thing that was always crazy too, was just like when his like broke his nose and you just keep going. You're just like, yep, that's just kind of how it goes. You're yeah. just like, well, we're practicing. Yep. Got to keep going. Like, yeah. don't really care. There was a time in college when I was practicing and we have these double doors at the end of the uh, wrestling room. Yeah. And uh, the rule at CSUB was you don't stop like no matter what until there's a takedown, until there's points scored. Yeah. So me and this guy go through the double doors, through the concrete and we're on the grass yeah. and we continue to wrestle. <laughs> and there's like <laughs> students walking by, we're by the pool and we were just wrestling in the grass and we're just, you know. Was this practice or an actual competition? Practice, okay. practice. Okay. So we're just going, you know, crazy. Yeah. Until, yeah. You know, I got the so takedown somebody, in the grass and then yeah. we just walk back to the room and it's just like, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this on is normal. Concrete guy, that's gonna be rough. Well, we yeah. went through the concrete to the grass. Yeah, it's like we both knew we should it's probably like, take like this to the grass. Like, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Keep yeah. Going. After a certain point, it became collaborative. Yeah. To yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah. yeah, one of us is getting slammed to the ground, but yeah. not on this. That, that was a critique in uh, Foxcatcher. So when Mark and Dave are are practicing in like yeah. one of the opening scenes, yeah, it yeah. goes from like zero to sixty immediately. No, you take your time. Yeah, you warm up, you do your technique, and then towards the end or halfway of practice, you go live, and that's where you get a little scratch. Happy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Probably the, cut for, for the film. The, yeah. It's already yeah. a long film. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, over two <laughs> yeah, hours. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, the, the opening of the digging in, oh my gosh, how many times is that how you practice the, 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 oh, the, shoulder, yeah. the swimming uh-huh. in and oh my gosh, it just Rock back like, memories. Yeah. I did that yeah. for, I mean, like if you cumulatively, it'd be years. Yeah. <laughs> how, many, how many times I did that? So since we have wrestling experts, like I don't know a ton about wrestling, but like, okay, so you can score by moving them out of the circle, right? No. That, well, no. so we did That's like, sumo. we did collegiate yeah. style wrestling Okay, and they so did no Olympic circle? style. There are, are circles, but the scoring is very different. Yeah, if, if you go out of it, it's, 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 there's no points. Like, like if you're going like folk style, which is high school style, um, which is what, what, what you call high school wrestling. If, if you're, if you go out of the circle, that's just, you're just out of yeah. bounds. But in what they were doing, that was you would score if you got them out of there. I can't remember right? if in the eighties they would go flat. And they're like, yeah, don't see, move. Certain, they didn't want to be pushed certain, out. Certain, certain they rules. The rules. Yeah, yeah. they changed the rules. Okay, so when you guys came, and around, then it was different. so like you saw him doing the suplexes. Yeah, God, which that is, seems that's, so crazy. It so, seems like you could just come down wrong and break someone's neck. Yeah. But that's the whole thing is don't don't do that. Don't don't, don't, don't let them do that. Yeah, the don't whole, lose. That's that's don't break your neck. No, don't break. Don't break. So you can't do that in high school. So you can score by the rules of this movie. You can score by getting them out of the circle. You can score by then like pinning them, right? Of course. Is there like pin, a certain pin, amount of time you got to pin them because they have no. a chance to like respond. So right? so no, like some some people depend. Honestly, it depends on the the ref too. Yeah. Like if it, like if they see shoulder shoulder touch, boom. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That that's a pin. Yep. So pins are more rare than you think that they are. Especially there was like higher up you go in high school, you'll see a lot of pins, but you go to college and a special Olympic. No, no, it's way way closer. 
And then there was, it looked like there was like tap outs too, where like you get them in like an arm bar or something. No, and, no, that's not a thing. No, that's not. No. A there's thing no, there's no tap outs in wrestling. No. Nope. Yeah, there's a lot more. It's a lot safer than you think it is. Yeah. Like there's no like naked choke holds. Except for your ears. Or, your ears except for your ears and everything. <laughs> I'd say it's way safer than football. Like you're in way more control. Absolutely. Yeah, but it's the purest sport. It really is. Boxing. We pick two movies. They're just they're pure. Yeah. They're like you can't get. It. You could do them without any equipment or whatever. Like it's better if you have certain safety equipment, things yeah. like that. But like, you, Hey, wrestle this guy. Okay. Punch this guy. Got it. Yeah. Yep. So Those are two like, things you learn. I have a one and a three year old. Those are two things you learn very early. <laughs> I on. Know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, just the, I never had to drop weight, which is always nice. Cause being a heavyweight, same thing. It like, was nice. 14 pounds in 90 minutes that's just okay so that's it's <laughs> yeah. actually very doable it's so doable the way he was doing it is he was doing high intensity uh, yeah, yeah, he training, do it. it's and all, he was wearing all sweats to just like sweat yeah, it out yeah, yeah. you feel you like put that all back on you because you have time before you, you actual feel match, like right? garbage i never did Absolutely. that yeah i've lost more than 10 pounds in a practice in like an hour and a half but those practices you don't understand how intense they are oh, oh no oh, I, yeah, I, I yeah. Like, i've never done it but i, I, I oh can, yeah, yeah. i'm saying like just having done like when you're working out and trying to lose weight and trying to build so I, yeah. I get some of the things that are going on and I realize like, this is crazy intense. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like 10 times the level of anything I've done. Like even when I was helping, um, one of our mutual friends, uh, when I was assistant coaching with him, like just coaching, I was drenched. <laughs> Cause yeah. like yeah. you can't coach while not being in it. You can't like tell someone how to do something. To you have be to be fair. You sweat a lot fair. podcasting too. Yeah. <laughs> Only during the summer. Actually, were, you, right were you as good of a coach as DuPont was? Uh, I was, you know, I was slightly better <laughs> that being, scene, being as a, like, Oh my gosh, the scene where they rolled his mother in and he like, it's everybody sit down and like, and Mark's just kind of like, like, what's going on? And then he kind of like looks back and he gets it. And he's like, okay, this is just grandstanding yeah. to impress his mom. But it's like, that's so uncomfortable because the true oh. talent was Mark and what's the other guy's name? Uh, Pont. no, no, no. Mark and his brother, uh, Dave. Dave. Oh, Dave. Yeah. Mark and Dave. And yeah, it was, it was Dave. Dave is a uh, Ruffalo, it's, right? It's yeah. a low, it's Dave, a low sport. Yeah. <laughs> It's a but just like D sport. Dave's look when he's like, he knows that he's the actual like head coach training all these, these guys. And then DuPont gets up and he's like, okay, let's, let's do this maneuver. You know? And he's trying to do like this, these speeches that are inspiring everybody. Oh, and it's just like, it's, this is bullshit. This is so awkward. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, honestly, it's like the office. Yeah. yeah. Like Steve Carell <laughs> nails awkward better yeah. than anyone else. <laughs> he does. Like, he's had a lot of yeah. training. Were they do 10, 10 seasons of the office? Yeah. Like, he was on uh, nine, well, Yeah. It's no, similar. Yeah. He was on eight. There was two seasons. I think of that. Two seasons okay. Six or seven. I don't know. Maybe I'm overestimating. Nobody definitely. does like cringy, uncomfortable better. Yeah. It's similar. Yeah. Like, like that scene when his when the mother when Mother Dupont comes in is similar to the scene when Michael has to tell the kids that he doesn't. Oh, he Scott, doesn't have, Scott's taught. Scott's taught. He won't That's watch the episode. That episode. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't I watch it. it every time. I can't, Me like, too. Oh. It's too cringy. <laughs> it was just like, oh no, yeah. no, 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 no. No, like I, I have a visceral <laughs> reaction to that. Let's episode. just talk about the office. My favorite episode is when. <laughs> okay, no, quick, when, when, when he, uh, What's your favorite? Like, what's your favorite gym? What's your favorite gym prank? After after what you say, what you're going to say? That's not as funny as a gym prank. My favorite laugh that's just so cringeworthy is when Michael shows the tape of when he was a kid on like the Sesame Street. Show. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. And like as a oh. little boy, he's like, I want to have, you know, a wife and like 10 kids. So I always have friends and no one cannot be my friend. And like it, <laughs> yeah. it cuts to the puppet and the puppet just kind of <laughs> stares at him. Oh, yeah. He pulls the gym. <laughs> the puppet slowly turns and looks. That's awesome. It's so, <laughs> <laughs> so it's so there, it's uncomfortable. I actually, at some point, I even say it like, "Oh, I prefer the episodes without Michael," <laughs> yeah. because there's certain times we're just like, "I, I physically can't handle this right yeah. now." Oh. How, how would you like the Will Ferrell stint? It was fine. Uh, yeah, I like. A lot of people hate it. I, I no, like it. It's dumb. Yeah. It's very dumb. Honestly, Robert California always does it for me He's because because so Lizard <laughs> King. Because I was He's just like oozing mm, confidence. And so sex. you're telling me <laughs> Wait, right now that like so some that paper... wasn't the sexual metaphor. <laughs> 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 but it's just like hey, there's I, wrestling Robert yes, California Robert wrestling California. in the office. Oh, if you wrestle for 30 Tying minutes. Tying it together. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Bring, let's yeah. bring it back. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just see so here's a fun thing. All four of us right here have a have almost as many medal. So we have the same amount of medals, Olympic medals, as almost every person who goes to the Olympics. I have zero medals. Exactly. How many medals do you have? I'm just zero. How many medals do you have? Zero. zero. How many medals do you have, Dunny? I have a 
<laughs> no, no. Think about it for a second. I have a gold medal for academic decathlon. So no, no. You're saying that most people who go to the Olympics, yeah, don't medal. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's so very hard. So I'm saying only only three people out of how many? You know what I mean? So Four Olympians is what you're saying. No, I'm saying that we have the same <laughs> amount of medals as most people who go to the Olympics. Yeah. So congratulations. <laughs> We're in a pretty good class, though. Pretty good yeah. class at everything. I would wear that medal everywhere oh, if I had one. How awkward was th- that? How was that one that, awkward? That this was is, an awkward This scene. is a gold medal. Yeah. This is what it's all about. Here's your 20 bucks. <laughs> it was so <laughs> sad. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. The first, there were so many awkward moments in this. Very. It felt like an unfunny episode and of The I, Office. I don't yeah. know if it was worse for me since I'm such a big fan of The Office mm-hmm. that Steve Carell was this got dark. Prob- you got a problem with me? So you got d- a problem with me? Did he have a prosthesis as well, or was he just was holding his? Uh, I don't had, know about he the- had teeth in. Yeah, yeah, teeth yeah, 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 yeah. The lips look weird. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think the teeth made the lips okay. odd too, and everything. Yeah, I'm a I'm a ph- philanth- philanthropist philatelist. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a weird scene. philanthropist. Phil- here, you, take a bunch of cocaine. Yeah, like way too much cocaine. Yeah. So I didn't much. say these words. Yeah, mine was. <laughs> I, I'm not, I have never taken cocaine, done cocaine, whatever. I don't know. See, obviously. <laughs> I've never <laughs> eaten cocaine. I've never eaten co- <laughs> I've never been a cop in a 90s procedural where I cut open down the middle and take a, a, a <laughs> with lick. A knife. With a knife. Mm, that's mm. 99% pure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a human test lab. <laughs> but like, I would know just how to do cocaine just yeah. because. You've seen it enough in TV. I've seen it. Just like, yeah. He's like telling you, you, you sniff it. Like, yeah, that's, that makes about, and that that was make, the, but this was the eighties. And if he had like, they, it wasn't necessarily on shows before that point. It was the nineties, right? When they were, I think uh, at that point it was late eighties when was they 80, were doing the 80, that was early 80, on. Okay. 89 yeah. was when the movie starts is in 89. Still though, you should. No, 87. I think it was like 84. Uh, he was just an Olympic champion, Mark and Dave in 84 Olympics. That's right. the one where the Russians sat out. So there was like yeah. an asterisk. If you're a wrestler, yeah, Russians. Yeah, it's, are, you know, they, but then they rivals. beat them in the world, yeah. in the world. Yes. So that was, was important. The thing. And Mark was like the only American, I think, to win in the following world championships where the Russians were. So, well, I, and then Dave won the worlds before the Olympics. Yeah. 83, he won the worlds and then he won the Olympics. So both, both Mark know and that Dave they, are, you guys know that they sat out, right? The, the Russians sat out. That's they, a big deal. That's a big deal because the Russians are just incredible wrestlers. Yep. All of them are. And then they, they, well, they, they fight bears. They, they have boycotted. To yeah. They boycotted the Olympics that yep. the the Schultz won. So it's kind of like they're great wrestlers, but did they really beat? Did they really beat the, the best? Were they the best of the best? Yeah. Why they sit out? What was the protest? It was. Oh, I forget. It, I it, mean, just like this last time around, where they weren't allowed to send their athletes. There's always some political because they always that, cheat. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah, was. I mean, like honestly, that was legit. drugs. No, yeah. but this is like they. It was uh, they, they voluntarily like they boycotted boycotted something. In yeah. But this it was it was politics. Yeah. I mean, the Olympics politics. were in L.A. and it's Russia. Something. Yeah, so they didn't yeah. go to. So that's always kind of the weird thing is like, oh well, did Would you they really have won? Had the Russians been there? That's the thing. But they yeah. also. But so then when Mark won the world championship, which was in that, and then the thing was is Dave had won the worlds the year before. Right. So it's like they had established. So that was they very did important. They wrestle against Russia. They, it was yeah. very important that that world championship for Mark was very important. Well. Yep. Since we're on the 84 Olympics, mm-hmm. um, I did read yes. a little bit about that. Both Dave Schultz and Mark Schultz were accused of ex- excessive brutality during their matches. I believe that. They sent a couple people like straight to the hospital after their matches. Yeah, it's, it's a brutal had, sport, man. They yeah. had to be assigned at like a special um, uh, like monitor to like watch the rest of their matches to make sure that they weren't like yeah. being too brutal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those cross faces. Oh, man. Those cross. I, I might call for a cross face every now and then. Yeah, there was. Now I'm going to toot my own horn, but there was this one kid who was younger than me and yeah. the, the, he wrestled for Clovis and that coach would never let him wrestle against me because I had made me, maybe two guys nosebleed by cross facing. So, cross, cross face, yeah, so it's when you're on top and then you're trying to make their head move so you can grab their arm. So you slide your whole arm you, across. No, you basically like do it hard. <laughs> your goal is to go from the right side of his body to the left side, but you're going through his face yeah. to get to his arm. And so where the head, the whole thing is like when you're, especially if you're on top, where when the head, from the left, where the head right, goes through your face basically, yeah. <laughs> is like your head, where your head goes, that's where your body goes. And so you're allowed to basically push your hand across their face as you're going. But then, yeah, sometimes you cock your arm back a little too much yep. and you get in trouble for that. And so, uh, I got cross face. I broke my nose from a cross face once. Yeah. It's pretty frequent. It's not. And like, the thing is, is you're not necessarily a bad guy when you do it. You're in the heat of the moment. Oh yeah. That's like when, when, cause at the beginning of it, Mark does headbutt his brother, but like 
it, he just was going a little too hard. That's yeah. it. So like, it wasn't like he was being a dick or anything. He oh, just, no, I didn't see it as being a dick. I saw it more as just like how badass Dave was that he didn't like bitch about. It. He's got right back in there. Exactly. No. The blood and get, get yeah. back going. Being yep. a dick was not rocking, not rocketing onto the on mat the and mat, then rubbing his, clean. rubbing yeah. his face into it. Like oh. he had, he got it on his face. Yeah. It's brothers. Like brothers, it was though. intentional. Yeah. They're brothers. So, so speaking of like getting hurt, uh, yeah. the mirror bashing, the head, oh. the head butting the bat, oh, the mirror. Yeah. That, that was just amazing. Channing Tatum getting amped up and getting really into it and just did that. And they left that take in there. He actually cut his head. Yeah. yeah. That's basically like a uh, Leo DiCaprio slamming on the, yeah. on the table and cutting his hand and just sticking with it. Sold. Like that's, that's I like those stories when you don't have like this prima donna actors. They're just like, I'm in this role. I'm in this character and I'm going to go for a hundred percent. And I'm just going to stay in character until they say cut. I th- I thought Channing Tatum, Tatum did an amazing job, especially yeah. just that whole, Cause, cause Mark has that, that funny uh, underbite thing. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Liv kind of just kind of sits like this like, the whole time. He kept that the whole time. Yeah. And the walk was just so dead on. Yeah. And for, just, for I Dave, think the only like, critique I had <laughs> yeah. of Channing Tatum's walk. character is uh-huh. that he went through the whole movie. Like he had no confidence. I mean, the guy's an Olympic I know. champion and like a world champion. They're, they're and he's playing up to him living in the shadow of his brother. Kind yeah. Of it's thing. like yeah. hard to portray that in a movie, I think. So they kind of overdid it. Yeah. That was true. my yeah. one thing. I was like, man, this guy, this is not how wrestlers act, especially not well, Olympic is, champions. This is not how wrestlers would view him to no. like, Oh, yeah. look at that. You're an Olympic champion. Like, Oh my gosh. Like you get handshook oh, for, yeah. forever. Yeah. yeah. Like, and they, the thing is, it's like, yeah, Dave was more popular. Cause he's honestly just a nicer guy and, yeah. and, and, and more yeah. charismatic and, and was arguably the better wrestler. Yeah. But well, I read that the, one of the things that Mark Schultz, uh, had took umbrage with at least. So it wasn't any of that, hmm. that stuff, but it was like the, the gay molestation stuff that was kind of like implicated somewhere in the middle. It got, it got a little weird. I think that's just erotic. an easy play. I mean that. Yeah. Cause like yeah, to announce that's, that's what we talk about. It's like, you got it when you're a wrestler, you kind of get over the closeness. Like, yeah. Yeah. Not, but like, it was with DuPont, like him yeah. and DuPont and they got really close. And like he was where he would like, he got down on his knees at one point and was kind of like in front of DuPont while DuPont was like in a, like a, like under a patio on a chair. Yeah. Oh, he was and shaving was like, his head when he was doing his hair for him. Yeah. He was like cutting his hair. It was like, it was implicated that he was like going to blow him or something like that. But Mark didn't like I, that. He's like, none of that happened. That wasn't real. And the, the movie makers were like, no, we're going to leave it. No, in. man. It, just, it wasn't real, man. <laughs> there's no gay stuff. There's, it's, oh. well, it wasn't. <laughs> so, did, so, so there definitely was, right, Mark? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's yeah. the, yeah, he's very vocal about that. Yeah. Did DuPont gun down those horses? I don't know. See, like, there was a lot ran of, him like, out of the barn, and then the next scene, they're like, he's like, you want us to mount this gun? Was he going to, they, and then they never got back to it. I was like, is he going to, like, shoot his mom's horses? There was a lot of scenes where they alluded to things, and then would just cut, and it would go to something else that happened yeah. like weeks so, later. So there's like, a, you just kind of had to fill in the blanks. I, I almost started watching it, but I was just like, I'm Fox Catcher out. Is there is, there's, a, on Netflix, there's a documentary, documentary called yeah. Team Fox Catcher with, like, the Team Fox Catcher. Uh, the, 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 fo- <laughs> Team the Fox Catcher. <laughs> yeah. It's going to throw the in there. <laughs> team the Fox Catcher. Uh, the uh like it's with like home video and stuff like actual like yeah. footage of it mm. you know what i feel bad for all the other wrestlers in team fox catcher yeah yeah because those guys were all olympians as well well so well, yeah. they had every opportunity that, yeah. that the schultz did yeah exactly yeah. like there were olympians in there yeah so i don't know anyway what were you gonna say well after so we're gonna jump towards the end but you oh, know we, after we're all out of order yeah after yeah. after you know, John DuPont shoots Dave. Oh, spoilers. spoilers. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go that far. Yeah. <laughs> you went too, too far. Too far. <laughs> that was a very real consequence. And they, you know, there was very, there was Olympians that were, you know, left without anything. I mean, that was a very real thing. Like you yeah. know, wrestlers aren't, com- they're kind of like boxers are coming. They're blue collar guys. They're not very affluent. This was a great opportunity. So all these guys with uh, nowhere to go, nowhere to train. Yeah. That's us. Uh, you know, um, the Schultz family actually kept that going. Did they? Yeah. So uh, not on that location, I take it. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. But the, the funding and the training, I know modern day, they, uh, the Olympic center for wrestling is in uh, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Okay. But, um, we had a local wrestler, uh, Stephen Nill, uh, wrestle under the Dave Schultz club and he became a, I, a world I, champ. I wrestled him. Did you really? Yeah. It was amazing. Did you oh, beat him? yeah. Stephen Neal, you know him. He's a Patriot. Did you beat him? Of course not. Oh, I was going to say, he's one of the best wrestlers. He's he's literally one of the best wrestlers ever. He beat Brock Lesnar in the NCAA finals. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's a two-time NCAA champ from Bakersfield. So it's awesome. Our D1 program. The the crazy thing about it is, is that not only are we California wrestlers, we're Bakersfield wrestlers. Bakersfield wrestling is basically like, it's like, 
it's like the NFL of, of wrestling. It's crazy how many good wrestlers All come right. from here. Tooting your own yeah. horn. No, no, I'm not I'm being serious. Well, no, like when I was a kid. Like, we're kind of like the best. No, really. no, I'm serious. Like, <laughs> yeah, when I was a I'm kid. Not, I'm not kidding. Yeah. Like, you would get these uh, wrestling magazines where you could buy the wrestling shoes, the headgear, and, you know, mm-hmm. before the internet. And they would have the college what, singlets. What, what do you mean? What? What was before the internet? Yeah. Yeah. It has always existed, right? That's it's right. Like, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and the internet. <laughs> yeah, that was on the seventh day. <laughs> no, but uh, you would open up these. <laughs> really good. You would open up these magazines, and it would have like Iowa State singlet. It would have Oklahoma State singlet, and then like the third singlet would be, you know, CSU Bakersfield. Yeah. Like we yeah. were one of the singlets that you would want to buy if you were a kid growing up. That's, like, cool. that's great. That's but cool. not just like, like, but like Baker, like. How does Bakersfield attract, like, because we kind of have a lot of, I feel like we, we're really good at sports. A couple years ago, like, uh, our basketball team at U, uh, yeah. CSUB was really good. Good coaches, good, How good do we area. That? We have like a Hall of, we had, he's since passed away, but we had like a Hall of Fame coach. We have had like Joe two, C, yeah. Joe C. Joe so C. we had two Hall of Fame. And then the guy that uh, came in after him, his name was uh, C- Coach Kerr, TJ Kerr. Mm-hmm. He's like on his way to being in the wrestling hall of fame. Yeah, but the, but then like you just get so so Bakersfield itself, the high school program, very good. It's very 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 good. Yeah. Lots of NCAA championship Olympians up the wazoo. Like yeah. so many Olympians. Like uh, yeah, Jake Varner. Jake Varner just won uh, uh, the four four years ago. I was going to say Jake now. Varner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, these are all just guys. No, I, that, I actually just from think, I really appreciate having you guys in here. <laughs> no, it just it really like brings an extra level. You guys have a lot of knowledge about wrestling and, yeah. and history, and it really brings a lot, uh, a lot of context to this movie. But like Shoney, my coach, Pan Am champ, and stuff like that, and then yeah. like it almost wasn't even that big of a deal because you're in Bakersfield. It's like, oh yeah, unless you're an Olympic champion, yeah. Like this kind of like where it at. Like for I mean, t- even up in Porterville, there's yeah. that uh, I forget his name, but I mean the guy was on the Olympic team with all these guys. Oh, the coach. Yeah, these I never shorts, remember his name. I forget his he name. He is made Maybe four feet tall. Yeah. And he, no, he's an incredible wrestler. Yeah. But yeah, Stephen Neal came in uh, when I was a junior and we, I got to wrestle with him. And it's just like, oh, you're a block of iron. So I got to see like a secret match, kind of like a yes. Paulo Creed and, and Rocky. So yes. I saw Jake Varner, <laughs> Olympic champ, and yeah. Stephen Neal, world champion, yeah. wrestle at CSUB. Oh, that's amazing. And did there's just, like four guys in the room. They just float up into the sky. and <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. But neither of them got a takedown, but I saw them do like a 10 minute go, which is a long go. That's a long go. But matches they were just battling. Each round is only three minutes long. Yeah. yeah so. In college, it's three, two, two. Yeah. So they did like a 10 minute go, and usually it goes like a minute at the most. Somebody will score, but these guys are just going back and forth. And that's what we're saying about the pinning it's is awesome. like a lot of these scores are like one zero. Yeah. Two zero. Yeah. Like whoever gets an escape. It's uh, very tight. Oh yeah. my God. So I, I brought up the scoring. Like, so, so how, how do, you, do you score? Well, that? see, things have changed over the years. So I could take down. Two two points, okay. Yeah, two points. A pin is a is, is an immediate win, but uh, then there's back time and everything. Is how much time? Writing keep, time. Writing yeah. time. Certain times, like let's say you can keep a guy on his back without pinning him. It, like it's, yeah, near fall. It's called yeah. a near. It's called near fall points. You get three for a certain amount, five for a certain amount. Like that's how guys get points. So you can text somebody, yep. which means that you get um. What's the points now? Fifteen point lead. Uh, yeah, fifteen point lead. Over. That means match. It's like oh, that's yeah. just you. And some guys I know, like with the little guys. You can't pin them because they're just so flexible, yeah. but you can take them down so many times. So like you'd see those, the heavyweights, it'd be a lot more pins. Cause once you get, so, yeah. you, once you put 285 pounds on someone's chest, or not going anywhere. Yeah. Not, yeah. Even not, if you're strong, even if you're strong, you're just like, Nope, I can't bench press this while also on my neck trying yeah. to, Bridge up like this. Bench anyway. pressing weight that is moving around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> uh, so that, there's just lots of escapes. Like, let's say you're on the bottom, but you get away. That's a point. Um, what am I? What am I missing? I like to be uh, on the top. Basically, yeah. most of the time. Honestly, if you're if you're close, you want to start off on the bottom. It's yeah. way easier to run away than keep something down. Yeah. Oh, we're so. different things. <laughs> talking about bedroom I'm a wrestling. power bottom. <laughs> so, hey, you want to? Hey, you want to talk about wrestling more? Or you want to talk about Creed? Uh, I don't know if I have anything else. Just hey, Donnie, you got anything? When oh, you, I will say this in true life. Um, yeah, Dupont actually, because he had so much money, he sent like a, a private investigator to go to Mark Schultz's house afterward mm-hmm. to ask him to help him get out of prison. Huh. Oh wow! What like audacity. to escape? Escape? Um, I don't know necessarily it was to escape or to like just get, uh, w- hey, get I, wrote, I, wrote, I wrote a few things like, for you. I, hey, wrote, I, I, I killed your brother, things. but can you help me get out of prison? Tell him that That's... I'm a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. Say hi to your mother for me. Why is he Mark Wahlberg? All so, of a sudden? Let's talk about this. Why do you think he killed Dave? It he seems didn't... to me that his anger was really at Mark. It was because they just, Dave wasn't 
on, it was on the video. Dave didn't go gaga for yeah, him. I think it was because he wasn't as complicit. Like Dave didn't need John, like didn't Mark, he, because of that dynamic between him and Dave kind of needed John. Yeah. Didn't need yeah. him, but it was nice to have. Here's no. the thing. Yeah. What, what, what John DuPont, if you take away his craziness, what he was doing was right. Like these yeah. Olymp, these were oh, Olympians. Sure. It's a great yeah. idea. It's a great business idea. For and him and it's just like, Oh, you're, you're these, these are Olympians. And like the, the thing that makes certain things that the reason that Bakersfield sports is, are, are so good in general, especially wrestling is, if you're the per, cause like you can't have a coach with you at every second. So who your practice partner is, is going to make you it's everything, everything. And so like my practice partner was Shoney, my coach, yeah. and he's a Pan Am champ. So like it was very good to have him as a practice partner. So, but then like, if you're, if you're, you usually would do like the weight class below you or the weight class above you, that would be your practice partner. So that was everything. So when they said, Oh, you get to pick our team. Like that means like, Oh, these guys are going to make us better. It's that, that, Steel sharp and sheet steel type of thing or whatever. Yeah. yeah. yeah anyway. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was good because this is true. Like treat these guys right. They're doing this for the country. Mm-hmm. Like don't make them live on ramen yeah. and $20 from talking at high school. Yep. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I don't know. Uh, so is he just jacked up because of his mom? Like, you know, rich kid upbringing and his mom just totally warped him feel bad for him until he kills until he kills dave i so i read about john dupont and they said that he like when he was uh he wasn't young but when he was younger Mm -hmm. he had envisioned himself going to the olympics and doing the uh pentathlon yeah and so he had like all these italian stones brought in and they had like a mural of him at the olympics and he went to the Olympic trials and like finished almost dead last. Of course. But, uh, you know, he just thought he was going to be an Olympian. He built all these things at his ranch to train. But, oh. uh, mm. yeah. He just is that. He's that guy. I think it was trying to live up to his mother's like standards and he just couldn't. Yeah. He just went nuts. And she had all those trophies from her prize winning horses. And, and mm. so he wanted to be a champion. Too, well, he just didn't thing. have what it takes. Right? The weirdness so, was, was that Team Foxcatcher was kind of like he had his stable of horses yeah, yeah. i mean yeah. honestly he would he could he did the same thing he he took the medals and put them in the thing yeah he yeah. didn't win those but his his horses yeah. did well he's See, a he's a leader of men yeah. a mentor yeah. mentor a father figure yeah, the, the, their yeah. interactions between his mom you know his mom oh, it was man, pretty interesting it, was so and it, it gave you some insight into sort of like why it's funny because Steve Carell is still playing like a cringy character because it was like his speech was cringy and, and, and his interactions with her were cringy and she's like, it's a low spot. And he was like, no, I'm a leader of men. You know, we're training to do great things. He just was trying to live up to his mom's sort of legacy and yeah, live up even, to his name. And it was just yeah. too much pressure. Crack. He, even he, he invented like that legacy division. So if you're like 50 years old, you could, I, oh my gosh, you yeah. could wrestle. Yeah. But yeah. in real life, I don't even think he wrestled because I had heard, that like he would, uh, you know, you weigh in and you go into your weight class. Say he's like 150 pounds. Yeah. So another guy would come and weigh in and weigh 150 pounds. So you got to wrestle each other. Mm-hmm. He would move up a weight class where no one was just to get his gold medal. Oh, yeah. God. So he wouldn't even wrestle. So he'd come home, show his mom, I got a gold medal. He didn't wrestle anyone. By default, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. They, uh, yeah, when his name was on the back of it and he beat that guy, I was like, That's, this just doesn't seem right. Oh, and then yeah. Michael, and then you see him the money too. Yeah, that guy looked border more bored than any person I've ever seen. That was really good acting. <laughs> it was, yeah. I always feel whenever there's the fixer for the rich guy, it's just like, what is, do you just hang out? Like the Michael C. Hall character. Call. Do you just, like what, how do you get in on that type of thing? I, I'm just saying, I feel like I would do a good job. I'm just being somebody's just like right being hand someone's man. guy. <laughs> yeah. I need my right hand man back. <laughs> so CSUV wrestling Chippa. is uh, privately funded now. Because the president dropped the program years ago yes. when I was wrestling. It was a big deal. Yeah. So we're all privately funded. So we kind of well, like have. CSUB is like this like nationally like acclaimed yeah, you know, wrestling team. And he drops it. It, it had been it downward trending thing? a little okay. bit. Okay. But uh, like there's enough rich ex-wrestlers yeah. in Bakersfield yeah. that are going to yeah. keep it going. Yeah. All so it's privately. see money. Yeah. Is that is that like a natural progression? If you're doing wrestling, you move no, to the UFC? No, not necessarily. But like you, it, if you look at most of the people that were. Um, if you look at most of the people that have been like UFC champions, almost all of them all were, wrestlers. were wrestlers. At one yeah, point. like yeah. Tito Ortiz wrestled for uh, Coach Kerr at CSUB and stuff like that. And I've completely forgotten where I was going to go with that story. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> privately, fr- privately, 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 privately funded. funded. Uh, yeah, don't know. By John going. DuPont. <laughs> yeah. Sean DuPont funds. <laughs> yeah. CSUB. You no. Here first. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> rest, rest, in, rest in hell. Yeah. John DuPont. That's right. You, you do feel, you, you feel bad for him until, until he shoots Dave. Like I, when I was explaining the movie to Elise, 
Um, like, cause I was good before I even watched, I was telling her the story. She's like, Oh, that's so sad. In the worst way too. It's not like they were getting into a fight or disagreeing. Like nope. just like, Hey, what's yeah, up? Like Mark Ruffalo just like turns around like, Hey, what's going on? I'm just yeah. working on my car here. And yeah, then the wife walks out on the porch. Like, and the, 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 it was crazy when he like turns hardest. green and it gets really big. <laughs> and oh, the you shot just, me. I'm getting angry. You wouldn't, you wouldn't like, like me angry. when I'm angry. <laughs> no, what was so horrible too is that, uh, that Mark had like begged Dave to come out there and he oh, was like, I know, no, right? like I've got my family. We got a good thing here. We're happy. Yeah. And then Dave finally comes out after all that money was thrown at him. And Dave's like, okay, you know what? Mark's right. Like, this is a decent gig here. And it is a decent gig. Yeah, yeah. It was the demise of his family. It's just, that's that's the hardest part. Is I, yeah. I don't, I can't imagine what Mark must feel like after that because he, oh, he's got a he. It's not his fault, but he probably feels responsible. You some fe- way. you would feel responsible, yes. like oh, if I didn't do this, but then it's the same no thing. No one it's can like, predict I crazy though. I didn't. He didn't shoot him. Yeah. He didn't. No one can predict crazy. Dave, he, even the even the right hand man was who was strapped himself was like surprised that, uh, uh, DuPont did that. Yeah. You mean Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> I was going to say Bill Nighy because Bill Nighy was, uh, was slated to potentially be DuPont. Oh, that would have been good too. Heath Ledger, Ryan Gosling as the Schultz. And I was, Bill. I was reading about that and, uh, like Channing Tatum was like the first one they, they chose. And then mm-hmm. they had the writers, uh, strike and, Things got kind of got put on hold, and then yeah. they got the bigger names out of it. So it took a long time to, to get this movie into production yeah. from mm-hmm. where it was originally. So originally, they thought Heath Ledger and it, Ryan Gosling as the Schultz. Schultz really, Schultz is, the sh- they're too they're too small. They I mean, they they just bulk up in six months. You can bulk up, but just like I mean, they weren't heavyweights. I mean, I'm just yeah. yeah so I it's mean, not like most wrestlers. I, they don't strike me as like very like cut guys. They're just. Big and they're bulk. usually just, stocky. They, yeah, it, massive. That's how you, it depends, you, you build, man. You build a lot of yeah. muscle and it's like you don't want to. Wiry is really good to be too. At the yeah. same time, the worst guys, the guys I hated fighting were the, the shorter, the worse. Yeah, like good balance. No, because you just yeah, you can't knock them down. Yeah, they're so compact, they're, and so you have to get down so low. Yeah. The best were the taller, the better. It's yeah. like sweet. Huh. A yeah. tall guy, there's so much more to grab. Mm. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> and they're higher, higher in the mm. air, so there's more kind yeah. of leverage to get them down. Yeah, move on. In in, in uh, jujitsu, I was actually pretty hard to take down. People always were surprised because mm. I was tall, but I have pretty good balance. It's good. So they they go to do the move, and I would never just like give it to them. I was like, nope. You you'd just be yeah, like, haven't applied the lock yet. You'd be Keep like, trying. you'd be like, not today. That's why we would start <laughs> by popping your eardrum to throw that balance off. <laughs> I went to my high school formal uh, my freshman year with a black eye and a black ear. Oh, nice. Yeah, they popped a blood vessel in my ear. It didn't didn't swell up, but it was black. And so, like my formal picture, my poor formal day was. <laughs> <laughs> just like oh it was you bad like uh wickis vandermeer wickis vandermeer like, like half half alien mm-hmm. half human hey he like hey man guy. hey man <laughs> <Give me> the <laughs> cat food <laughs> you did you did you watch uh yeah, district nine so when you listen just like just curious <laughs> you can still enjoy i'm, just, I'm here, here yeah. you still enjoy our show oh yeah regardless of whether you've seen the movie or not yeah, I like all the uh, tangents you guys go on. <laughs> Good. So we do a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. So on the office. Which is why this show is so <laughs> on point. I was so going there. <laughs> on the office. What's your you, favorite? You actually didn't say uh, what's what, your favorite what, gym. Well, I asked you, what's your guys' favorite gym prank? Uh, Asian gym. Asian gym I have is a so favorite. Good. I have a favorite Dwight prank per se. But okay. Go ahead. I can't okay. think of what my favorite one is. So go ahead. Okay. So it's, uh, it's called Stress Relief, the episode. Okay. And it's where Dwight... Um, he does like the uh, the uh, fight. He does a fire scare. Oh yeah! So yeah. he does all the smoke in the office and oh. the, the alarms are going off, but he's locked all the doors. <laughs> He's who's heating this? up the doorknobs yeah, yeah. with the blood. Who's in the yeah. ceiling? Who falls through the ceiling? Is uh, it Meredith? Oscar. 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 <laughs> and, and Angela I throws her cat throw up there. Cat. <laughs> He's like, where did the cat come from? I, st- <laughs> I still <laughs> think it was the episode. With the, oh my gosh, take the cats. <laughs> no, but then after that, after he gets in trouble, he goes to corporate and they yell at him and then they come back and they have CPR training. Oh, that's, that's right. when they <laughs> cuts the face <laughs> off. Cuts the, the face <laughs> off. <laughs> that's right. Off the dummy. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. I think, yeah, Asian Jim is a really good one. Oh, that's, hey, good for you, Dwight. Yeah. Not seeing color. Good to you for not seeing race. <laughs> not seeing race. Uh, I think it was, it's funny, it was later. It was a later season. It's when they go down to, I think it was Florida, 
where it was after they get bought out by Saber. Okay. And and Dwight uh, Jim oh, says yeah. I'm on kid time. He says like I don't have I'm like I'm on kid time. So like I'm usually up by 4 a.m. So, so I'm so I've been up for three hours. <laughs> and so he makes he tosses his room and then puts blood on the wall. And says Dwight did it. <laughs> and then there's like the, no 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> and he falls out of. Which the- <laughs> is like yeah, that's kind of what you would do if you're stir crazy. Yeah, they're all weird. so good. Like yeah, they're yeah. mean. They're all really, really mean, but you realize how crappy uh, Dwight is to him. Yeah. I, it's great. I like when Jim and Dwight are friends, yeah. like towards the end. It is. Yeah. It is funny because you hate certain characters. Like I despised Michael Scott. I despised Dwight in the beginning, but in the end, you end up loving them. And that's uh, they, they do that slowly. Once they decide, okay, this person's going to end up in this place by the end of the season, they just use that yeah. whole season to make you start to respect them and like them. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you legitimately want Dwight to get the, to get office manager in the end, <laughs> yeah. but you certainly did not anytime. No, before, it was it was awful. Yeah. By <laughs> the end, it's one of the best finales of a show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a great show. The way yeah. that they ended is just like, yeah, you're happy. Yep. You're really happy for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Same thing with Parks and Rec. Like you, you the, the finale of Parks and Rec is just so freaking beautiful. It really is. It makes me cry every time. I'm almost about to finish it again. Uh, oh, and yeah. it's uh, Ron and Leslie are just now. Uh, oh, they're about to hold hands. Yeah. 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 It's beautiful. Sweet. Yeah. So sweet. All right. Mm, this on? has been Michael Schur talk. Remulon. That's how they end all the all the all the Michael Schur uh, produced shows. Remulon, I don't whatever. Keep going. Yeah, we were ending on a high note until mm-hmm. that point. <laughs> Great. <laughs> ah! There's your there's your high note. It's good. Hey, uh, it, wait, wait, read this quickie. Can I can I sing sing along? Uh, yeah, you can do the music. Creed, in what is essentially a remake of a beloved 1970s film, an aging warrior trains a scrappy young fighter to face his biggest opponent yet, Ricky Starkiller Base Conlon. <laughs> that was really good. Oh my, do I love this movie. It is so freaking good. Is Michael B. This Jordan really is so freaking cool. I've loved Michael B. Jordan since I saw him in uh, Chronicle. Chronicle. Oh my and gosh. I, just, I knew at that point, like, oh, this guy's going to have a career. He is so he effortless. Career. Charismatic he is picking the right movie. Yes, he to, is. To yeah, propel his career just He's, on a meteoric rise. He is. He's, I, one of the things I love about Michael B. Jordan is like he's just he seems like the nicest guy, right? Like I, I, and like and I've seen. I don't want to look it up to find out if no, no, he's actually a dick in real life. No, no, no. Yeah. He seems like so the coolest guy. You so, want to hang with him? So there was. He's so, just. He was just defending R. Kelly on Twitter. And, <laughs> no, you know what he talks about on Twitter? You know what he talks about on Twitter? Dragon Ball Z. He Does is he really? the biggest Dragon Ball Z nerd in the world. <laughs> he is, you know, a serious actor, takes his roles very seriously. But if you tweet at him about Dragon Ball Z and how cool certain things is, he can do chapter and verse from the <laughs> from the manga, the anime, everything. He has is the biggest de- So okay. like Killmonger, Killmonger's outfit, you know how he has those like, those cool chest plates? Yeah. He literally designed them to look like Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah. That's what he was like, because he's that big of a nerd. That's funny. Huh. Yeah. I never got into Dragon Ball Z, but no, I did, I mean, I did yeah, play yeah. like a... Um, like a deck builder game that was Dragon Ball Z because I had a buddy who was really into it and he got him. I was like, oh, this looks cool. And it was mm-hmm. kind of like magic or whatever. You know, you play yeah. different stuff. But, yeah. Um, no, I was just going to comment on like how hard, like the work ethic of this kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For a year, he worked out three times a day, six days a week to put on 24 pounds of muscle. I mean, he's uh, huge. I mean, putting on 24 pounds is not that hard. Putting on 24 pounds of, <laughs> yeah. of muscle. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that today. <laughs> yeah. Done. You get the pizza. Mark Schultz good. put on uh, your Mark put on twenty four pounds just by eating steak by hand. <laughs> yeah. but, oh, no, but twenty four pounds of pure lean muscle because it's lean. He's yeah, yeah. very cut He's in this so movie. Cut. Yeah. And yeah. I, I looked at the picture like before and after, and he was just kind of like skinny dude, basically like you, you know, like us and. He like his arms were massive yeah, in this he's movie. So big. Well, then you think, I don't know what kill. he got paid, but it wasn't enough. I didn't even Killmonger put it together too. that he was in Chronicle. I remember that now, but yeah. like, oh no, that dude was some skinny like nerd. Yeah, no, this he got huge. <laughs> well, because then he did Creed, and then he was Killmonger and Black Panther, yeah. and then of course he did, just did Creed two. Yeah. And he's even bigger in Creed two. Is he? Because he's he's a heavyweight in Creed two. But I mean, huh. Like are you, are I might have to watch the that concept tonight. Of like oh yeah, man, it's so good. Three times a three times a day and six days a week. The dedication. The dedication. That that's more than I dedicate right now to my full time job. I don't I even mean, breathe granted, that paid, much. 
I'm too 16, lazy to like, breathe that much. <laughs> but I mean, the thing is, uh, you have a finite amount of breaths during the day. Three times so a you, day, six you, times a week. If you work Jesus. out, if you work out, then I have to breathe faster. Yeah. I only have 200 breaths for the day. I got to save them like a like nah. a blue whale. <laughs> but that's a that's a full like more than a full time job because not only are you working out three times a day, the nutrition, which is actually the harder part of building yeah. muscle. Is the nutrition that he has to eat? Here's the thing, to though. To keep building that muscle, you look freaking amazing. You do, but to make you can't maintain. No, that. no, of course not. You know what I mean? Like he can't do that for the rest of his life. Yeah, and that's what it takes to maintain that big of a build. But it, it's great for the footage. You, know, oh, you get it on God. film, and it's forever. So one of the things I love about because I, I love the Rock. So Rocky, obviously, we're huge fans of Rocky. Like, I love I, Stallone in this movie. Yeah, he's so good, and it, because it's like, yeah, he. Guess what? He's old. Yeah. He's very, very old. And I'm tired of him being in like the expendables where he's like throwing yeah. knives and yeah. like, like, nah, bro, you're in your seventies. Well, Sylvester Stallone said that when he had to sit in the chair and, and do this makeup, cause they had to make him look older and weaker yeah. than he actually is. And he said, he'd look in the mirror and he said, it was just like, it was just a sort of a stark reminder of like, okay, this, this is basically where I'm headed. <laughs> like, this is very soon. For yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys remember that old age app? Remember that where yeah, like you make yeah, you, yeah. it would do like oh, yeah. turn you male to female, female to male. And then like old, it's like, Oh shoot my dad. Like this is me in 30 years. There's my dad. <laughs> yeah. um, but the, one of the things, so the, what, what, what I loved about that, well, one, the soundtrack is fantastic for Creed. Same thing with Creed too. Yeah. And they don't use the Rocky theme until good. this is a spin. Exactly. Slash until sequel. the very end. Yeah. Just and give it, you a tease of it. And it's just like, when that happens, I get the chill bumps. Like you would like, it's just like, yes. That's a solid piece of music though. Oh, like that, that, so, yeah. that song just gets you amped yeah. regardless. And Tessa Thompson who plays, she's, uh, she's, as cute she's as a button. the God, best she's cause she's so in, cute. she's the Valkyrie, Valkyrie. and Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. Yeah. I just watched Annihilation, which she was in. She's I, fantastic. That, I gotta see that movie. You got to man. Everybody that I love in it. I need to see. Oh, that movie. it's so good. She's in it. She's amazing in it. In fact, I might go home today and watch that. Movie. Yeah. Watch <laughs> Annihilation and then watch Creed two. So <laughs> I actually think Creed two is better than Creed. Oh, really? I, I do. Just there's something. I know it's got Jago's son, right? Yes. I mean, yeah. spoilers like this, but like there's oh, just. Oh, that's, that's like a surprise? I thought no, that was like I mean, part of like the No, trailer. I mean, kind of. Yeah, it is. But like it, it is. But like you just see all of a sudden like it just is Drago. And you're like, okay, F, so, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing is the only other Rocky movie that I've seen is Rocky Four for this show. I did not grow up watching Rocky. Oh, movies. really? Yeah. Oh, man. They were on okay. a loop So I don't at home. know like, yeah. you know, really like the world of this. Rocky existing. one and two, like Rocky is not at all what you're expecting. There's a couple of fighting scenes, but it's like a small time dude more about struggling the, with the relationship. The Could you say that like his whole boxing, life, right? his whole life was a million to one shot. <laughs> yeah. Is you that what you could say? One shot. But I mean, it's, that's, the, that's the tagline. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's nothing like, uh, it's successors. Yeah. No, like but, Rocky one is a very personal movie. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I wanted to kind of get some context. So I kind of read a synopsis of, all the movies. And oh, you're, you're, you're denying yourself the beauty. I'm not, I'm not going to, it just won't happen. I mean, <laughs> we, we talk about umbrella Co- company and all these other shows and movies that uh, I need to watch. Academy. And it's not going to happen. I just don't have enough time to watch everything. So I read the synopsis. That's fine for me. But synopsis. what I'm kind of gathering is that like, it really has always been about like the character and the struggle as yeah. opposed to necessarily just like a cool boxing movie. Yeah. The boxing always comes at the end. Yeah. Like you get and a few training montages. Uh, Rocky and also Creed, they don't always win, which is, no. I, which is nice. I, when he didn't win in the end, I was disappointed. I was like, oh, you know, but no. at the same time, I was like, but that feels realistic. But this guy is pretty Ricky Conlon. Like he's the he's world champion. He's the, he's the pound for pound best boxer. And it, and it was yeah. pretty cool. Like after all that shit talking and stuff up until that, that, that like this guy, he comes over. He's like, you're the future. You're the future of the game. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I made the, uh, force awakens. Like this is Rocky. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, to it's, Rocky it's a very yeah. personal movie with, you know, human stuff going on. Yeah. There's some fighting at the end. He loses by decision, but it sets the yeah. stage for him to continue. I, what was really, Creed too. It was really yeah. good to like, just all the characters just felt more grounded as, as real people. Yeah, yeah. It's very real. Like, this is a real person that exists in the world as opposed to like, Oh, that's just, that's a movie trope character. Yeah. You no, know? like the, the, the guy that, um, it's like, hey, hey, fam, can I get a pick for the gram? You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he calls yeah. Over, and then they start having like beef and they get into a fight. Like, it just feels like a real person. It didn't feel like an over the top, like gangster acting kind of like. My, my favorite character. scene, because the, the, I 100% agree with you. Yeah. This movie feels real. It's yeah. like people have like real reactions to things. Yeah. Is when, um, he says, oh, that, that's my uncle. And she's like, yeah, I'm from Philadelphia. 
that's Rocky Balboa. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like that's a really famous person. That's like, he has a statue right there. Yeah. And like, like don't like, Oh yeah, that's my, that's my uncle. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> like I know who that is. Yeah. Uh, the, um, Felicia Rashad, uh, who plays the, the mother looking good for her she, age. I love She's aged her age? very well. Yeah. No, her, if she has it all. Yeah. Her and Angela Bassett. Cause we were watching black Panther and it's like, you, look amazing black don't crack what i know <laughs> it's like yeah uh, Corey is um is 105 did you know that dave <laughs> dave shut up aged very well <laughs> <laughs> we haven't kind of so dave what do you think about this movie yeah what you, oh i loved it uh especially at the end you know when uh spoilers yeah no i'm just messing with you no you no know, when the trumpets come in where yeah. like where he, I mean, he gets knocked yeah. down and he just like wakes up and gets right back up and he's ready to go like yeah. goosebumps immediately oh yeah the, the, what i love about this though is i expected I was, a trap remix of that that like that, that song though that rocky song that would be pretty cool like start with start with the horns and then bring in the, the hi hat oh yeah we're doing it right there yeah yeah they should have done it I I had never seen this before. It'd been on my list. I just hadn't gotten around to it. So when I heard that we were watching for the podcast, like ah, awesome! Yeah, I can finally sweet. watch Creed. I felt yeah. like I had to balance. You yeah, uh, yeah. Foxcatcher very dark and you know not and there so certain, happy. I there really were certain Fox things Catcher, that like Fox, oh, it's a fantastic film. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, certain things like I knew was coming, like that I was fully expecting. When he gets that package, like I didn't send you a package. Like oh, mom sent him the boxers. Like oh, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. like the trunks. That was a, that was a cool moment. Was a yeah. I for me. knew exactly what that was, but like so, as soon as he opened the box, like I'm just yeah. like yeah. super Yay! chill. Yeah. Bumps. Yeah. The, the pants. Yeah. The, this movie is not like clever, or it's, it's not like trying to like no. do tricksy things. It gives it's, you what you want. It's yeah. Force yeah. Awakens, Rocky. Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's the it's, same movie. Guess just what I love? Updated. Force Awakens. Yeah. <laughs> Force Awakens is very fun to watch. Yeah. Creed Two is 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 very good though too because yeah. it's it's um. Was it was it Creed two or Creed one where he's like, what? Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? Is it in the first one or the second one when Rocky asked that? I think it's the first one because he says like, I just want to prove I'm not a mistake. Yeah, that's the first. One. That's the first one. Good. I yeah. didn't want to say like because like yeah. that. I well now I'm not that's even going to watch the second. That's one. where he like take. Well, he ends up taking his name. He realizes why he's going down this. Yeah, road. it's like why are you fighting? He's like, I just want to prove I'm not a mistake. I'm just like. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. Why did you cut my heart out? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, oh my gosh. But the the cinematography for this film okay, is very fantastic. Good. But I wanted to make a comment on his shorts and then okay. I want to go into the cinematography. Okay, but the shorts do. though, the it says Creed on the front and then it says Johnson on the back. Yeah, yeah. Like that. And they, they did that for a psychological effect that it's like rooted in the real world, like yeah. what something somebody would do. Because on the front, your opponent is going to see Creed. So it's going to remind them of like, who your blood is and who yeah. your legacy is and kind of get in their head. But in the back was where all the cameras would see you. Mm. And that's then establishing like your own name. Yeah. Like you're separate from Creed. So it was kind of a cool little psychological thing they did with the, the placement of the names. The guys that I'm always impressed with, cause I've, I've never boxed before. Like, re, like boxing, my, my entire knowledge of boxing comes from Rocky movies. Yeah. yeah. Like seriously, I don't, I don't watch boxing or anything, but it's the, the glove guys. The guys that are the glove men. Oh yeah. And it's just like, those guys have got to be they, like, they're training just as hard. Oh yeah, for as sure. Adonis is. Yeah, like my favorite scene, yeah. and I thought w- w- a, a bit of realism that I've always wondered about, and they put it right in the movie. Getting ready to go, cut my cut my gloves off. <laughs> yeah. I gotta take a <laughs> shit. Yeah. Cut my gloves off. Yeah. Again, the way they really made these characters real. You <laughs> yeah, know what I mean? it wasn't. Yes, he's gonna take a shit. <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you? Did you take? Yeah, you, you're gonna wipe my ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, out. that was the other thing too. Is when 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 Felicia was shot when M- Mrs. Creed says like you know i had to wipe your father's because yeah. he was so beat up, he so beat up. Yeah. like i had to help him up these stairs like is that's not what i want for you and she's got you know. the biggest t- okay i just found out no right my husband had an affair and yeah. that bastard an kid angel. is out there you know what i'm gonna go get him and actually give him a life that's the other thing too in in the early work they have other kids right I think yeah, like he's playing so. with kids. Yeah. She did what the Stark wife couldn't do. What's her name? I can't remember her name. Caitlin. Right now. Caitlin. Caitlin. Caitlin Stark. <laughs> yeah, Caitlin Stark. Oh, she, do oh, she did. Yeah, she's dead for yeah. sure. <laughs> Guys, couple couple more months. Just, no, a couple weeks. Yeah, that was June, April, April. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I still just read the synopses, <laughs> so we're good to go. Uh, oh, you brought up the cinematography. Oh piece. yeah, just the fact that they kept putting the camera right over the shoulder. You're seeing those punches coming. The other thing that I like about this movie is they do actually block. Rocky mm. never blocked. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, yeah. so good job, Adonis. That was part Wait, of his yeah. strategy, tiring out his opponent by just leaving his face, <laughs> attempting target. <laughs> but so you can just tire oh, him out. <laughs> oh, man. No, so, the, the, the first few rounds, like it's like the first two rounds, I think, mm-hmm. of, the, of that final fight, yeah. Uh, no cuts. It's just you were in the ring so with yeah. them fighting, and it yeah. was really cool. Just over the shoulder, and you just see everything. The choreography that that had to go down oh, for that. Oh yeah. I think they they did it like fifteen times or something like that, and they finally got like. I, a, I heard when this was actually being filmed in real time, uh, he got knocked out in real life. Yeah. Yeah. He, he actually requested that. Oh really? Yeah. Cause, okay. That's because I guess the story. it happened to Sylvester Stallone before. Oh, that's right. So he saw, felt like he wanted to kind of like follow. Yeah. He's like, let's just do it. Just at one of these points, just go ahead and knock me down. I yeah. okay. Yeah. No, I watched the video. I watched the video of it, and there's a, so he's standing there. He's like, okay, it's coming at you. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here it comes. Boom. And it's just Michael B. Jordan. Boop. Because yeah. <laughs> like an, an unblocked punch to the face, yeah. you know, it doesn't matter who it's coming from. It's going to hurt. Yeah. If it's coming from a, an actual like trained boxer, you're yeah. going to go down. It doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. You don't have to be tough to take a punch, to not block a punch. I don't know. So the guy, Ricky Conlin uh, is a real boxer. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. He punched him in the face. Yeah. Here's the funny thing about it is you would not think the pretty boy was particularly buff. Yeah. In any way, he actually yeah. kind of looked doughy. Yeah. Now he obviously He's wasn't. A real He's a real boxer. Yeah. No, but I'm just saying like, like when you look at, when you look at Adonis, like, and you look at like Rocky and you look at Apollo and you look at all those guys, What's the main thing you look at? They're ripped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they were rippling biceps and, and abs. Pretty boy was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm a really good boxer. I yeah. thought the same thing, but I knew he was a real boxer. Yeah. I'm just like, he just must be technician. Yeah. Exactly. Or that, yeah. that's just English body. <laughs> yeah. I was going to yeah. say like two, two of those examples were black, which they are already just going to have genes predisposed to being very athletic. And then the other one's Italian. So maybe it's just like something in the, in the genes. Yeah, I mean, they don't wear jeans in the ring, though. It's boxer shorts. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh, <but> yeah. <laughs> Grown. Oh, man. But, I mean, don't you guys just want to immediately watch Creed 2? Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, I do see it's it, yeah. really good. Um, I mean, me and Dave went to see it on a dad date. Yeah. Just like, hey, you got anything going on? <laughs> no. Okay. We just sat close to each other, held hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that day I had, like, half the day off. So I just had things, like, stacked. I'm like, I'm free. No kids. My wife has no, them. Yeah. It's like I'm gone. Let's We're going yeah. Hey, you want to go? And I, even, I, I told Dave, like, hey, man, if you just like, there's movies that Elise doesn't care about seeing. There's movies that your wife doesn't care about seeing. Like, let's just go see them. And yeah. Creed two. Yep, on my way. Yep. Ah, oh, man, it's so good though. Did you drive a bus? Uh, that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Elise makes fun of me for that too. That's my natural like drive. I don't do this. It's this. And I don't know. I don't know why. Neither of those look like trying to. Oh yeah. I don't know. Move on. <laughs> Already? Yeah, yeah. I feel like we just got into this movie. I know. Fox Catcher. We talked about Fox Catcher a long time. Uh I, I love Rocky. I love Rocky. Stallone is second only to Schwarzenegger. Yeah. And so like and for some people, like from um when we had Jason from Range Outdoors out, he said Stallone over Schwarzenegger. And it's like, yeah, I mean if there's an argument to be exactly made. like they're just like the purest of the eighties, nineties action stars, even though they're uh, pretty much probably done horrible, terrible things. I think I like <laughs> so, younger Schwarzenegger better and older Stallone better. Ooh, interesting. Mm. Mm. Yes. It's, it's all Schwarzenegger for me all the way through. <laughs> no, well, if you think like now, uh, Stallone's kind of eased into the old man. Yeah. Especially if you watch Creed two, there's that scene in the chair. Dave. I don't recall. Oh, okay, then, man. Yeah. I don't know. Schwarzenegger's still like you. Just you can watch like YouTube videos of him and stuff. And he's still just hilarious and just <sighs> charismatic. He's, he's such just a bad that person. He said, but like, here's the thing. It's I. He I, did nothing worse than Donald Creed did, or I mean, uh, Apollo Creed. I, I mean, Apollo Creed is not a real person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying like Although, you know that Apollo I, Creed bring is me fictional. Up to speed. Right? What has Stallone done in real life? Uh, he's got some. He's got some. Uh, Got some allegations. Uh, yeah. I did grow up like watching Rocky movies. Uh, mm-hmm. And so I, I was very like warm and fuzzy. Why this oh, was, yeah. this was a great movie. Uh, it was uh, entertaining. It was uh, exciting. And then uh, just seeing Stallone like in this role, in this older Rocky. Yeah. I, just, I, that I really that like that. Inspiring. Yeah. What Rocky is it where <laughs> he's in the uh, meat locker? First one. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's what we watched. Probably uh, more than one, but definitely the first one. <laughs> no, first one was that was the thing is that the whole, it was always about. He couldn't afford like the gym, yeah, so. Yeah. yeah, was that he would break the ribs. Yeah. That's how strong he was. Because that was always the thing is that like Rocky 
wasn't a technician. And Rocky goes for the body. He goes. He, yeah. works, the, he works the body because yeah. he's smaller. And, and he makes clear the in Creed. You know, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's going after the body just like Rocky. Then up top like his father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are the only two things you can do in boxing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you can either go for the body or the face. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to punch his scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, weird move here. It's completely illegal. You cannot go for the scrotum, but ah, it's a it's, it's dangerous move. You know, did you watch the uh, Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor fight? I don't, I, no, I don't watch those. Okay, I, I don't watch watched boxing. it. And that was actually, uh, you can't go below the belt, and Conor kept going, you know. Pretty low. Not too low, but low <laughs> enough to where the ref's like, hey, you know, knock it off. Uh, here's uh, the, is that he, why they wear their shorts so high? So you can't I think lower? so, yeah. yeah. Yep. My, my whole thing is always that, you know, you always know two things that, that Floyd, May, Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor are just stand-up guys. <laughs> that like really like follow the rules have never done anything See, like now Stallone looks like an angel I know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like Conor McGregor you know definitely is not like beat up women and like Floyd Mather same thing <laughs> Just definitely no, those two up. those two people are the most garbage humans yeah. on the face of the earth. But the man, they get paid. Yeah. yeah. They get paid. And that's the, Floyd Mayweather Ford, Floyd Mayweather can't read. <laughs> you can't say his name. He can't even I know. Yeah. <laughs> I believe you it. Saying Floyd no, he can't. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen him write things? No. It looks well, maybe Kelly. It looks a, like the, 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 the <laughs> just, uh, let's just start naming people that are garbage humans. <laughs> so basically if you can't read, you're a shit person. <laughs> oh. You're a man, garbage there's, human. There's probably a correlation between the two of like being able to ingest knowledge outside of yourself yeah. i did Tim watch the pacquiao maybe and i really okay. wanted pacquiao oh, to me too him. so badly um yeah. the one that i did watch the mcgregor nate diaz fight that was with you right oh did probably. we watch that together i, I it watched was nate, it was two yeah oh that was bloody yeah I oh love, yeah i think when mcgregor comes out to the the was it foggy do the oh, the okay. sinead o'connor song don't ask me <laughs> okay he, she she uh gregor comes out to a sinead o'connor song i think it's called the foggy do and it is hauntingly beautiful. Mm. But it's like not a fight song. But like if there was like smoke and, and yeah, lights yeah. and stuff. I thought he came out to like his national anthem or something. No. He comes out to the, the foggy. It's day. like a really slow song though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really slow. So you bring up something about the movie that we haven't talked about. Like mm-hmm. they did a really cool job of making you feel like you were uh, like watching real fights. And, and like when they all came out, like yeah. his entrance is pretty cool. That dude comes out and like blows the fire. Yeah, and yeah. Like, I like that. The, the, the fog. That was that was a pretty cool entrance. Wait till you watch number two. Yeah, I bet it's cool. Wait till you watch it's number awesome. two. It's pretty home. awesome. Um, and then like just the little um, the little commercials like HBO Sports. You know, yeah, yeah. Would just kind of talk about things uh, yeah. about the, the different the different. That was something that they events. did that I think was really good for updating it. It's like, yeah, you're going to see them yep. having interviews on ESPN. You're going to see them on doing HBO oh, Max, Max Kellerman in real life is like the boxer guy. Yeah, yeah. so like you're going to be seeing yeah. th- that. Those are the conversations that yeah. they're going to be having. Like, yeah. And they're going to ask them, like, what about your dad? You know, yeah. like you didn't yeah. know him, but like you're still living in his that, shadow. That and really like, made it feel like it was real. So, it wasn't a movie we were watching. I was a real so life story. disappointed in, in Apollo. I really was. Like on some level, like this, the, it it Apollo was always like this, like bigger than life kind of guy. But yeah. like, then it's like, oh, you dick, yeah, you 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 philandering. I have dick. another office reference. Oh, so remember when they're asking? It's they're a, asking a ph- like ph- philanthropist philatelist. <laughs> so Michael Scott's like, name a white guy, and I'll tell you a black guy I trust more. <laughs> 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 and Where's so they start that? naming off people. And so, and like Pam says, Jesus. And then Michael's like, Apollo Creed. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, man, I like the office. You know, the only problem with, with, uh, with the Creed movie is, is no Steve Carell. <laughs> There's no, not enough pranks. There's not enough <laughs> well, pranks. Without Apollo Creed's philandering, you don't have this movie. Yeah. That's of course. What happened. And that's yeah. the thing is that like, how do you get the Creed? Cause like, if he just had been. This, I don't know. Yeah, you had to have it to where, like, he did, he had to fight from the bottom. Mm-hmm. Uh, another, another minor criticism I think I have just from real boxing matches that I've watched when they start counting, when you're on the ground, like, they, they count quick. And, like, if they get to, to a nine or 10 or whatever it is they're counting, you're, you're done. He was on that ground for a long time when he got knocked down. Oh, oh I got I to count. They were, they were already counting. They were, like, on five by the time he even started to get up. Yeah. Movie time, even, though. Like, 
Yeah, slow it down a little bit, but yeah. But like I was saying, they were halfway through their count, and he's still getting up through the last few seconds. Yeah, like if you're not up and ready to go by the time they hit the end of the count, like you're you're out. And he yeah. he didn't look ready to go. He did like, not. Yeah, I, a referee, a real referee, would have ended the fight. Yeah, exactly. And how about the eye scene oh, where he eye taps scene. him? Taps how him many eyes back. am I holding? And he taps him on the head. Yeah, yeah. I'm like the eye is like shut. <laughs> like there's yeah. no way. Yeah, there's no light going into that. <laughs> no, that was that yeah. was gross looking. It was so. Um, That's rough what the human body you know can go through and then bounce back <laughs> somehow the um that that was it's like yeah rocky gets it right like cut me oh man oh i want to watch yeah. I, wa- I could watch all the rocky movies in a row right now we we've been watching a couple of weeks ago they had a rocky marathon on and I, I was showing the girls and they were getting up and they were doing their boxing routine oh, yeah. and it was yeah. the sweetest thing but it's like <laughs> man they can they guys good form my son's yeah. been doing this thing he last night he was in a really cute mood mm-hmm. uh, and he we were just talking about oldest youngest youngest okay and we were just talking about like we want to put them in some kind of like extracurricular thing mm-hmm. we were thinking about maybe putting him in martial arts and my other one wants to do gymnastics and anyways i was just like hey you know cuz the youngest was like bouncing around i was like yeah. i should put you in gymnastics or something you know it's kind of reversing it and he's like no I am karate. And he just was like going around <laughs> doing oh karate gosh, stuff. He's awesome. just kissing, I am karate. <laughs> I love it. It was the cutest thing ever. If you put yeah. him in karate and the other one in gymnastics, they can combine their skills <laughs> into gymkata. Gym <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got a gymkata situation going on here. I, it was, uh, but yeah, I love all these movies. I want to watch Creed two's out on DVD now, right? Mm, probably. I yeah, think so. It has to be DVD. Who watches DVD? It's out. You can we, stream it now. It's out digitally. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, is it out? Is basically what I. Yeah, what I, I think meant. you can rent it. Yeah. yeah. Has it been aired in the theaters? Yes. Then it's accessible. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> to uh, hey, um, you guys want to watch some? some I've got to ask. How did you guys watch the? Uh, you know, how did you find these don't, films? Don't don't ask us these questions. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, was, I, found I actually actually Creed Fox I have, was on free dive. Yeah, uh, uh, Creed was on um, was on AMC. Oh, was I it? had it recorded? Okay, yeah, it's still there if you want to watch it afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> watch I, it again. I rented it digitally, so it was like yeah. three bucks. And that then, was the only fool who pays for these movies. Yeah, I, I, I rented it because I I wanted to be you know to not have watched. Yeah, it I rented three it three years ago. I rented, four years ago. I rented yeah. it as well. Foxcatcher was available on this IMDb thing where you get commercials. So yeah. my Foxcatcher was like two and a half hours long. Yeah. yeah. But it was free. That's worth yeah. it to me. Free is free. I'll watch yeah. the commercials. Yep. Oh, I don't mind watching commercials. That's when I go pee. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, like I, I told you said it before, like I can't sit through an entire movie anyways. I gotta no, get up and go get I'm, a snack or I'm actually the water. same way. Yeah. So it's like commercial break, cool. Let me go I, get something to drink. I very rarely go do I watch a movie your zebra sitting. popcorn or whatever. <laughs> I haven't had that in a while. I need to. Well, mine's, <laughs> mine's like early, like episode mine's four cute, or five. Mine's we're cucumbers and, uh, <laughs> and everything. You know, I've lost 50 pounds. Congrats. Yeah, congrats. Yeah. 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 So like, really as good. you can see that belly's not as big right now. Yeah. But yeah, 50 in. I'm starting to see a six packs forming. I can't <laughs> see your skin. Usually I have like a view of your gut. Oh, my pants. Gut kind of right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Really good. Just sneaking, sneaking a little Sometimes he draws just, like I a little face on it, and it's very disconcerting. <laughs> hey, Donnie, come look at my belly fat. Open your mind, Donnie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I still want to see a Muppet version of Total Recall. Make it happen, with, Hollywood. With the little sticks on the hands. Open yeah. your mind. <laughs> Open no, your mind. No, me, Swedish boy. chef style, Quato's hands are human hands. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. You said a bad thing. That's a bad thing. Don't yeah. say that. Oh, it's no, good. that's. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I think we sufficiently talked about this, but we can move on now. I enjoyed them both, but Creed was definitely well, Creed's more enjoyable. a more Creed, up movie. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It is definitely a more up movie. There was some, some <laughs> yeah. real downtime in Foxcatcher, but it still kept my attention, which I was really surprised. Yeah. At. Oh, it's an enthralling movie. Yeah. Everybody's acting. I get why it was like award nominated yeah. mm-hmm. but yeah. I, I also see why they wanted the big names imagine fox catcher with no big names it yeah. would have been it yeah. wouldn't have carried yeah, yeah. agreed mm. well we wouldn't be talking that. about it because nobody would have heard of it or guaranteed yeah, yeah. it would have been one of these you know canes film festival and that's where it would have ended yeah, yeah. is it canes i've heard canes a lot no no, no yeah, it's, it's canes now you it's can Kane. you can correct the canes now Dave Morgan said so. I'm not. I'm not even gonna correct him. I thought it was it's, cans. It's cans. But yeah. I'm not gonna say anything. But it's yeah. like but we, can, we can like we can edit that out, right? No, <laughs> no, 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 don't go for that. I'm a lot of people say cans. You get to say you get to say whatever you want. So I thought maybe it was like a French word. And no. we're, we're just the dirty Americans who are saying cans. <laughs> and if that's how people pronounce it, like Paso Robles, the you know town up the yeah, road, yeah. Paso Robles, yeah. they they 
you know, passed a resolution within the city. The town is pronounced Paso Robles. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Robles. They went Robles. Yep. Huh? Ooh, Paso they, went, Robles. Robles. they went full Robles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> full Robles. Because that's what everybody calls it around here anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> More Gooder Than is proud to be sponsored by Range Outdoors. Range provides high quality and stylish apparel for people who want to, as they put it, go be free. They are a group of fishermen, climbers, backpackers, hunters, mountain bikers, and outdoor enthusiasts that want to help conserve and protect the environment they love for our future generations. They give their time and donate a portion of proceeds to conservation efforts. Head to range-outdoors.myshopify.com to check out their entire catalog. It's good. It's time now for our uh, newest, just by purely being new, <laughs> because we don't have that many. We have not had a new segment in three years. Uh, our new segment, Subjectively Gooder, where we decide if these are more gooder than the last set of movies from our previous episode. So we had John Wick 2, J- uh, Jason Bourne uh, Supremacy. I'm doing the Jays and Jack Reacher. Never stop. Never stopping. So this is a tough competition. It's a tough it one. Is a tough Two call. good contenders. Yeah. Yeah. One's the champ. And one's the, uh, the up and comer. That's a tough one, man. Cause John Wick two, John Wick two is better than both of these movies. I, I John Wick two is better than Creed. John Wick two is better than, yeah. than Fox. Jack Catcher. Reacher yeah. is not as good as Creed. And Jack Reacher is not as good as Creed. I'm going to say Fox Catcher. by split decision. <laughs> <laughs> J two. Yeah, yeah that's a tough this, one. This was a long knockout, you know, knockdown slug out After battle. After 12 rounds. It's full 12 rounds, both both contenders. Did like, they go the distance, they Rock? The distance. <laughs> they gotta eat lightning and crap thunder. But I Demon think, speed. Get up, you son of a bitch. Because uh, Mickey loves you. I think oh, that J2, Judgment J, wins my points. Well, I mean, for Dave, it makes it really easy. Yeah. You've seen two of these movies. <laughs> yeah, I've seen two of these. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I... I'm going to go. This is, this is really hard. It's tough. Yeah. This is really hard because, because I, I, I liked Creed more than I enjoy Jack Reacher or born supremacy. I think I agree. And, but John wick two is just so stinking good. Yeah. I'm going to J two. Yeah. J two is better. It's, just purely off of the John wick. John wick carries it for sure. Creed (laughs) is so stinking good, man. If we, if this was Creed, well, if we did an episode that was just Creed and Creed 2, it would win. Because <laughs> yeah. it'd be like having, well, then you'd have to compare it to John Wick and John Wick Chapter 2. Well, we're not, do, I'm, we're not doing that now, are we? <laughs> well, if we're doing we almost, you, I almost just told you, hey, we'll do, we'll do three movies. Because whenever it's a team battle, we do we do two. Yeah. But we might as well just throw in Creed 2 in there because like, it would have been the natural question. Like, yes, I will watch them <laughs> two now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that was, that was harder than normal. He said, Jay, he said this one because he hasn't seen J2. Yeah, okay. I know what I'm doing later now. Yeah. <laughs> Watching John Wick? Yes, you're going to love it. No, I watch, should watch one. You, you have to watch one. one. Yeah, you have to watch one. And then watch yeah. two. Yeah. It's yeah. such a its own world. You have to watch the first one to. And well, and yeah, also that it. John Wick 2 starts, what, maybe five minutes after the. Yeah. So, like, yeah, it's like minutes after the first one. It's good. Okay, so we don't declare each other the winner here at MGT. That's for you, the Twitter poll, and the International Olympic Committee to decide. Mm. But we do think someone should win and lose, and that's what we have. Gooder, badder, fugly. So you guys got uh, got your winners? Totally forgot to write them. Really? I, I wrote it on my notes, winner, loser, but they're blank. I yeah. have a fugly, but I forgot to write them. Uh, my, my winner is uh, Valentin Yordanov. Who's that? Who's he? Do you want to take a guess? Who, who that? Valentin Yordanov. Is my guess? Who? Who is he? Do you guys want to guess? Is it is it Drago's son? No. Donnie, you want to guess? Valentin Yordanov is a Bulgarian wrestler who inherited 80% of John DuPont's oh, fortune wow. after Jeez. his death. Why? Wow, wait, what? He is a Bulgarian wrestler that he left 80% of his money to upon his death. So the DuPonts, aren't there other DuPonts though? Because I mean, the DuPont corporation still exists. Yeah, he, does had, it not? he had $460 million when he died. 
But was that all, was like he the last heir, or are there other Duponts? In the you know, family? I didn't do as much research yeah, because he doesn't either. own the company, obviously. That's, but a, well, like, that's what I wanted. So, to know. like, there are people. He's definitely related to the, the he, Duponts, he, but the, yeah. the, of the du, the, they're probably are more like shareholders and things like that. But like the actual family, I think he was one of the last ones, and he was worth four hundred sixty million dollars at the time of his death, and he left it all eighty percent of it to. That is the biggest winner. Uh, yeah, for Valentin sure. Yordanov. I yeah. did uh, I did not know that. Yeah. I looked it up because I'm like. some research. Well, no, because I'm just like, well, the, I worked on the winner. Whoever gets this money, because that goes somewhere, that doesn't yeah. just disappear. So a lot of it, of course, went to the uh, to Dave Schultz's widow yeah. and their kids. So that, that that was millions of dollars. And didn't they, uh, I think they leveled his home afterwards, something like uh, that? It was sold, sold. after he died yeah. um, to, to another family. It's a beautiful home right off there off of uh, Valley Forge. Yeah. And everything in old uh, Pennsylvania, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's why I wrote. It's like whoever gets his money, and I'm like, I'm, I'm sure that's common knowledge. Let me look it up. Oh yeah, there it is. You would huh. think Bulgarian though, wrestler. Like, he murders somebody. Like most of his money should go to that family, and then you know if there's a will, that guy gets whatever's left over, but not that, like that's why of I, the, the, the will is contested too. Okay. By the way, because. People Good. have been saying that it was, was he in his right mind? But Valentin Yordanov was one of the guys on Team Foxcatcher. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's one of, okay. So he got all the money. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, one, I guess it would just be uh, Adonis Johnson, that he got lucky enough that Marianne Creed was oh, like, she wouldn't found him. So he, he won yeah. because his life would have been kind of shit if she didn't take yeah. him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you are. That is, oh, that is correct. Yeah. What about you, uh, Dave? Yeah, that was my winner. Or you could look at it as Michael B. Johnson in real life because uh, yes. now he's Panther Creed right. too. So, yeah. oh, man, he's supposed he's to just, actually now he's supposed to be. If if Henry Cavill bows out, WB wants him to be Superman. Really? Yeah, hmm. I'd watch it. Yeah. I'd watch it in I, a heartbeat. I did not care for the uh, last Superman. No one does. No one did. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> no one. No one did. Yeah. <laughs> you, that's, that's not a hot take. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of. Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Like I, I don't know. I, mean, like, I might be. <laughs> I actually want to go back and watch that again. I, you know, I did because I have actually now listened to a podcast that covers like conspiracy theories and stuff. The name shall not be spoken. Yeah, don't speak of that. Um, and they did the Crystal Skulls and like the history behind yeah. it. And I, I didn't realize that was actually like a like a. Thing. That was a thing. Yeah. No, I have recently watched it. There are definitely some big lapses and like, gosh, if you would have just changed. A few things because it, it brings back Marion Ravenwood, mm-hmm. who is the just the best. We, yeah. we love her. She's she is she's an amazing character. Um, Shia LaBeouf is not bad. Like in it. Yeah, sure. It, I actually it, just recently for pleasure watched Holes. You it's a great this. movie. <laughs> that movie is so. Have good. you seen Holes? You seen oh, it? oh, I love. I read the book before yeah. the movie and then just loved the movie. Guy eat those onions. You ever seen it? Yeah, the onions uh, are sweet. I it's, I remember when it came out and I saw a trailer and like I know it got good reviews. It sounded interesting. Yeah. I just don't have kids, John, so I never watched John it. Boy, Candace Williams. Got Got me and my brother to watch yeah. it. Yeah, and she's like, just, Weaver? "Just trust yeah. me, just watch it." Because it was like a Disney movie. And we're just like, yeah. oh, "This is, is going to be dumb." Yeah. She's like, just trust me. It's Stanley, really good. Stanley Yelnats. And you like yeah. begrudgingly, Stanley. we watched it, and just slowly, like our our armor just melted away. Because like, this is so good. No, it's it, it's yeah. it's got great great acting. The children, uh, Shia Buff was really good when he was a kid. Yeah, zero. Oh, oh yeah. man, they're so just good. How all of the story in the past ties to everything in the in the oh, present. It's, yeah, it's the a really good movie, man. It all just comes around and connects. It's really good. That's good stuff. <laughs> I don't know. How we got, I don't know. Holes. No, but, but like Indiana Jones, we watched it, and they're just like, if you would have cut out the scene where he gets into the into the the fridge, just cut that out. Cut out the fridge scene. I don't even remember make that. it make it not about interdimensional travel, and have it be just change a little bit because I really liked that they went to South America. That was really where I wanted them to go and, mm-hmm. and do that. So that there was just little there were just some a few things but there's a lot of really funny parts in it. The scene when like they get the snake to throw into the... I remember the cinematography was fantastic. Yeah. It like, looks really a, good. And, and it makes sense. He's old. He's yeah. not going to be out there just like swinging through the trees. Yeah. And that I, I really and, and speaking of that Cut out the scene when when he is swinging through the tree. If, there was a fan. That's the stuff that it, was dumb. I think the forest where they're driving on that road. Yeah, that's like this perfectly like paved wide road. No, 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 no. Trees. That was not where swinging trees. No, no, no. They they brought a machine that cut through the is forest. The, okay. Yeah, watching Kingdom of the Crystal Skull with my girls because they. they there, I have to edit, do the, the, a little bit of the daddy edit. They haven't seen like the faces melting in, in, uh, so honestly, they don't know how the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark happens. I just yeah, tell them, yeah. close your eyes, baby. They survive. You're good. But they love it. They love it. Same Temple of Doom. 
Gosh, I mean, I cut it out once they start eating brain, monkey brains like that. The, um, that whole scene underneath is just a little too much for them right now. Like it's most got, of that movie. Yeah, is that's the thing is, and then watch. Last Crusade. Man, you can you watch cut out all of the stuff of like what's what's the female's name in that movie? Oh, uh, Ilsa Schneider. Elsa. Uh, what is it? Ilsa. 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 No, no, no. In the in Tomb of Doom. Willie. So, Willie, yes. Yeah. They have to, you have to cut out all the Willie lines because she's so annoying. <laughs> not, <laughs> like, a, not a good role you model. You want your daughters to grow up to yeah, be like that. Not, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I do. Marry Steven Spielberg. That would be awesome. <laughs> so that would be really, really cool. Uh, and then uh, Temple of Doom, just uh, when he, when he, you know, the head cutting off, there's just cer- certain things. For the most part, they can watch that one almost all the way through. Uh, but so then watching That's Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The head cutting off? Uh, when, the the, when, when the pen to man. Pen, when, That's you, the last crusade. The, that's what I said. You said Temple of Doom. Okay. Oh, sorry. Last year's said, uh, when like, you know, the, the head's cutting off and, and when he With like the cutting of the heads and, and stuff like that. So <laughs> I, we cut those things off, but for the most part, they can watch you it. Cut those things off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Indiana Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Shia LaBeouf. Holes. Not as bad as Dave Morgan. Yeah, right. Dave Morgan. <laughs> we got to stay on point. We're talking about Lord of the Rings. Yeah. He said Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. <laughs> See, he brought us all the way back. That's so good. Uh, you guys got a losers? So oh, did you just say you're I winners? guess I don't get to do You don't get winner? to say it. We got, we got, we got. Dog, Dog is my loser. He yeah. doesn't get to pick a winner. <laughs> What's your winner? I, I did actually write down a winner this time. My winner is Michael Buffer. Michael, which one's Michael Buffer? He's the let's get ready to rumble oh. guy. Cause he's like that guy. Oh, you're doing a boxing movie. You guys already have my bank routing number. Just deposit the check and all. Oh man. I love that. Yeah. What's your loser? I was actually thinking about that. Like. I'm assuming he came up with that phrase and just how iconic that, that phrase came yeah. you know what, for you any want, kind of fight F contest. That guy. Let's get ready to rumble. I mean, he's like, turned you that F you. into exactly. a wealthy life. <laughs> it's, that's what I'm saying. It probably just like a one-off thing. He's like, I'm going to spice this up a little bit, you know, and did that. And it's like, Oh, that's like our opener for oh, every Oh my gosh, I nailed it. Forever. Totally nailed <laughs> yeah. it. Totally nailed it. Uh, you guys, you guys got a loser. I know you didn't write anything down, I, Corey. I, so. I, so you guys, the first. loser is pretty obvious. Like, doesn't work out well for Dave. Yeah, Dave definitely. No. Yeah. What about you, Dave? Well, I was gonna say, yeah, uh, Dave and Mark Schultz. I mean, Mark gets kind of booted from this whole thing. Loses his brother. You know, yeah. he's got to feel. You know, got to carry that around. Along uh, these lines, I'm gonna say it's his wife because, like, she oh, just was yeah. so yeah. supportive in yeah. his arms. So she was so supportive, and she followed, followed him everywhere. Yeah. And then, like, she followed him to this crazy person's house, and he got killed right in front of her eyes. She got shot at, so she's traumatized. She's now got to raise those kids and explain what happened to their father. Like, Ugh, she's yeah, the, she's the biggest loser. Yeah, I mean, I put Mark. Cause like Mark is going to have, so there, for a few reasons, Dave obviously gets shot. It's, it sucks. It definitely sucks. Yeah, yeah. But like Mark has to live what we talked about earlier. Mark has to live with that. Like he's going to feel responsible. It's yeah. like, if I didn't introduce Dave, then this wasn't going to happen. Even though Dave made this, his own decisions, he was a grown man. It's not like that. But also like the, the whole thing, he's an Olympic gold medalist. And he gets zero respect in the movie. Yeah, and it's like this guy, and it's just like he he, he gets like the USA wrestler does he wrestling doesn't even talk to him and like yeah. talk to Dave, but like yep. oh oh yeah hey oh hi Mark, yep. <laughs> oh hi Mark, oh hi Mark, <laughs> ah, hilarious story Mark, true story. He's, that movie was written about um, yeah. Mark and Dave Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe, my loser. Maybe what they were going for in the movie was. Uh, putting some of that real world, like brutality that they both kind of shared and were known yeah. for maybe putting that more on Mark and Dave is a more charismatic one. Maybe was a little clean, uh, cleaner. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's, def- it's definitely lib- liberties were taken yeah. and everything. Cause yeah. like he was a respected he, he wrestler. None yeah. of that gay shit happened. He yeah. Yeah. definitely yeah, def- happen. did yeah. not happen. No. Y'all yeah. didn't happen. <laughs> definitely yeah. happened with someone to, when someone <laughs> says it, didn't happen that much. Yeah. That means it definitely happened. <laughs> you guys got, uh, you guys got fuglies? Uh, just uh, that sloth eye in the 12th round of, of Creed. Yeah. That, that, that was awful. Just that thing that's like gross. It's not rocket. Yeah, it's not right. But it's not, but it's not yeah. always. What about you, Dave? I mean, just the uh, John DuPont character is out the whole thing. Just uh, ph- ph- philanthropist. Flow whenever he talked. Yeah. Ornithologist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was really weird. Just his mouth, yeah. Just uh, is yeah. being a filet something you want to brag about? It sounds really weird, it's, right? Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's, it's a stamp, li- stamp collecting. Stamp collecting yeah. yeah, is that something you want to brag about for I mean, like if a you man like of the year award or whatever? Yeah, like I collect stamps. I don't know. It's a, it's a thing for rich people to do because yeah, they're bored. Is. Shows how affluent he is. Well, he nah. bought a stamp for like a couple million that later like resold for like twelve million. Like that stamp 
has broken its own record like four times for. That was like a legit true life story, huh? Yeah. Huh. Oh, wow. Wait, what? I, I didn't know stamps sold for twelve million. He That's bought insane. a stamp that was like the most sought after stamp oh, in I the think world. Said, I think it's I. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, I am just like, wait, why are you telling so this you weird tell us story? You're a millionaire. <laughs> you're you're philanthropist philatelist. Yeah, this is my last episode of the show. <laughs> Bye. I uh, sold my stamp. My my philatelism has finally paid off. <laughs> it's just a weird. Weird he, word. Yeah. Filate those stamps. Filate Filate, stamps. What a, fil- I, a filate I always thought it was pronounced philatelist. Oh, which you, you I don't sound, those stamps sounds better. Real well. Use your mouth. I'm listening to John stamps. DuPont, who apparently is a leader of men. <laughs> yeah. um, mine is, and I'm surprised that Donnie didn't say this, because they had a lot of this going on, eating in films. Like, they eat a lot, and it's really close up watching them eat. Hmm. It's like, no, don't, don't, don't show them eating anything, especially meat. Don't eat meat in front of it. Like, nah, the snot rocket was... I mean, yeah, there's blood spit in this. We all know how I feel about blood spit. Yeah. Blood spit is the worst! So, anyway. Uh, enjoy the movies. They yeah. were very, very, very they good. Did. So, uh, next week we'll be doing Creep 2. And... Uh, <laughs> And Foxcatcher too, more fox, um, more fox, more, 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 more fox, the revenge. Foxy, you know you're a sweet little heartbreaker. I loved that. Uh, that Mike, Mike Myers and Dana Carvey announced at the Oscars for Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> they, oh, they, I didn't they, watch that. Oscars. Oh, yeah, yeah. So That's when great. when they because you know they come out, they talk about each film and for the next thing nominated for best picture, mm-hmm. and it was it was them. And they were looking at the members of Queen, and what did they say? We're not worthy. Yeah. Like, yes, <laughs> right. give the people what you want. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Dave, do you feel as if you got your money's worth? Oh, absolutely. Out of this, yeah, you're yeah. actually you're leaving with some gifts. Um, you're going to uh, we're gonna you're gonna be of course on the wall of fame. You just gotta give me that picture, man. Oh yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't tell you that story. Yeah, tell me the story. So one time in college, yes, um, at they band had, camp. They, yeah, you know, I've been to heavyweight camp too. <laughs> they had a heavyweight wrestling camp I went to in high school. <laughs> Another story, but um, please please tell the stories. Okay, okay. So the uh, the college re- wrestling, uh, they had a program at CSUB called Rowdy for Reading. So yes. Rowdy is the mascot is the name mascot. of the Roadrunner. Mm-hmm. So what Rowdy would do is Rowdy and a bunch of cheerleaders show up at the classroom, and a couple student athletes also show up to the classroom, mm-hmm. and you just have like a Q and A and. You know, it's like a reward for these kids for something they've done. So I, I get sent out to like, stand, I don't know, some some elementary school on the east side of Bakersfield. And I show up and it's me and this other wrestler and Rowdy's late and the cheerleaders are kind of outside. So the two wrestlers, we go into the into the classroom and, you know, the teacher's like, you know, where's Rowdy? And we're like, uh, he's running like five, 10 minutes late. So we're trying to kill Ironic. Time. Yeah. For a road runner. Very. Me, me. <laughs> yeah. Mother effers. Yeah. So the, the mascot finally got him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. Coyotes are way faster than, than road runners. They're oh, really they are smarter. But the, are they? the idea is that, that this is a dumb Continue. coyote. Yeah. Okay. Back to the story. We're off on tangents, which yeah. is very rare for us. That's what yeah. Dave wants. I like Dave that. wants the tangents. <laughs> yeah. Does <laughs> not does not care about the movies. What my daddy wants, my daddy gets. Yeah. Oh, Davey, yeah, yeah, I'm still calling up the see. cans. So is, yeah. Or is it can what did I call it? Canes? It's cans. Yeah. yeah. It's Connes. Connes. The Connes. Yeah. I mean, it is con- it is cans. All right. I thought it was just so, can. <laughs> yeah. Mascot's not showing up. So the teacher's like, let's kill some time. So she pulls up like the bios of us from the from the website. So the other guy, they pull up his bio, you know, <laughs> up comes the picture and and they read the bio about where he's from, this and that. And it's it's you in a singlet from like the chest up. So I'm starting to sweat because I know what my picture is on the website. It's me. With like just a ton of chest hair. Yes. <laughs> like a lot. Yeah. So the teacher then goes, you know, like, what's your full name? Puts it in the roster, pulls up my link from the Go Runners website, and up comes my picture. And the entire class just starts just laughing. bursting out of laughter. <laughs> and my face turns beet red. I am blush. And the teacher just turns over, looks at him. She's like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was the most so, humiliating so thing. So can we have that picture? Yeah. So that's the picture yes! for the Hall of Fame. I'm you can so just go happy. to Go Runners. You can pull up my bio. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. It's just me with a lot of chest hair. Did you, did like, you take her down for that? <laughs> you know, for a while, like they changed the picture on the yeah. <laughs> cross face or hard. Get that cross face. Yeah. Oh, I don't even remember what happened the rest of the day. <laughs> no credibility. <laughs> you it's just a blur you of passed. blush yeah. and shame. I, yeah. I got a nosebleed and I passed out. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> isn't that what happened to Cody? Didn't he tell he a story? Like, he went we to the doctor. Yeah. Yo, we, we, that's when he pissed his pants. Oh, yeah. yeah, he passed he out. In the doctor's <laughs> office. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I codied after that point. <laughs> Cody, oh my gosh, that was such yeah. a good... Yeah. He tells Cody is such a good storyteller. A story. You know what he'd be really good at is if we did a GURPS style <laughs> tombstone RPG session. What? And he played one of the what characters. That'd be awesome. Idea. I would. Do you think he'd be in? Do you think he, he'd be down? To I think that he has already said. It's on the back burner. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be that episode where Cody came on. I was laughing the most out loud. It's like honestly, I was at my it's desk. Most, it's one of our favorite, yeah. one of my favorite episodes. The only time I think we laugh harder is never. I don't know. We, we've never like, no, had come him on, back because he makes us look really yeah, bad. So, so you're going to bring talented. back Dan though, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Mm, nah, nah. Uh, uh, you yeah, another story for us? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not so much a story, but I have been to heavyweight camp. So actually, a guy in Foxcatcher, his name's Bruce Baumgartner. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's the guy that held the flag in the 96 Olympics. Mm -hmm. So John DuPont left all these guys out to dry, you know, after his camp gets shut down. So they send all these, you know, Olympians through and they finally get to the it's 96. Dave Schultz, it's the Dave Schultz camp, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So Dave Schultz is now funding, you know, all these guys to go to the Olympics. But uh, Bruce Baumgartner gets to carry the flag yeah. at the 96 Olympics. So he's mm -hmm. a... Uh, I don't know, probably one of the best heavyweight wrestlers. I think Rulon Gardner's more famous, but he doesn't. Well, hold. because Rulon came yeah. out of nowhere. Like, yeah. he wasn't expected to win. Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't hold hey guys, a candle. We know these names. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, but Olympic champions uh, yeah. from our sport. But uh, Bruce Baumgartner is like the most, uh, you know, well known heavyweight. So oh, I, I love that guy. Yeah. I go to his camp in Pennsylvania. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And um, it's just all heavyweights because he's a heavyweight. So you have yeah. to you have to weigh at least 100, 190 pounds to go to this camp. So it's just a bunch of. You know, big guys wrestling. Yeah, yeah. So. and the Rulon camp is too commercial now. I think. <laughs> yeah. So no, he. Uh, funny thing about Rulon is he went on Biggest Loser. Yeah. Because after he, um, after after the wrestling, yeah, uh, he, yeah, he just didn't. Uh, uh, put, so I got to wrestle got with heavy. Rulon at Bruce's camp, and man, all the other good heavyweight wrestlers like think mm -hmm. that Rulon is an idiot. <laughs> yeah, no, he's that never comes off like, hey, I'm a super smart guy. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, but the best thing about Bruce is his stash, man. Yeah. So like, yeah. he just had this house on T too. That that's the Centurion I had. Yes. <laughs> now Bruce was Bruce was a beast. Oh, man. he's awesome. Yeah. He was he was right up where I wrestled with Shoney. His poster was right above us. Okay. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, those camps, man. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. At first, I thought you were going to say that he went to heavyweight camp, as <laughs> yeah. in like the movie Heavyweights with no. Ben Stiller. Yeah. And <laughs> It was he, the exact. Well, say, it kind of was like with did Ben you say Stiller. Skinny Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen Heavyweights. No. Dinner has been canceled <laughs> due to lack of hustle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that movie was so good. Oh, I love it. Uh, that is going to do it for us. The in the uh, Dave Morgan Memorial MGT Recording Bunker. We, you're dead, by the way. <laughs> we really appreciate. <laughs> He's a living legend. Yeah, a living legend. Yeah. We really appreciate you rating, reviewing, and subscribing to the podcast on your uh, podcatcher that lets you review us. If you think you know anyone would like our show, tell them about us. Please follow us on Twitter at mgtpodcast. Call the hotline at six six one four eight nine seven three two three. We're on Instagram and Facebook at More Gooder Than. Email us at moregoodthan at gmail.com and visit our website, mgtpodcast.com, where you can support us via Patreon like, I don't know, Dave Morgan? Dave Morgan, our sponsor, like Nan? And uh, the rest of the Sacred Grove. You can also visit our actual sponsors page and purchase an item from Range Outdoors. Go be free. While you're there, you can buy a nice... Uh, I don't know. Bucket it's, of body oil. That's what I knew he was going to say it. Uh, I was going to say bucket of spit, but that's better. I like body oil better. With our logo on it from our merch page, MGT logo designed by Mary Madewell, Home Tree logo designed by Dan Nicholson. And of course, 
We are proud members of the Podfix Network. I took a big breath there. And uh, follow us at Podfix on Twitter. And the website is podfixnetwork.com to see the full lineup of shows. Of course, you can hear Donnie on the Quit Storm podcast with friends of the show. Dave, thanks, man. No problem. Seriously, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. You can come to our house. Anytime. Thanks for giving me the chance to watch Creed. I yeah, know it's right? so yeah. nice. I know it's so good. Thanks for not giving us crap movies. Yeah, <laughs> I tried. See, could you imagine if he came in here and given us like the Serbian movie and like <laughs> Human Centipede and just like stared us down the entire time? <laughs> Heavyweight wrestler notwithstanding, I don't think he could take all three of us. <laughs> no, but like he's just looking at me. Look at me. I can't be taken down very easily. The, I can get I'm out of here. I'm the captain. And I don't fight fair. I go (laughs) eyes, balls. No, there's no. I will put my fist through your face if you maybe watch (laughs) those movies. Uh, So uh, till next week, uh, Dave won't be here, but you can if you want, I guess. (laughs) But uh, it's bye for me, Chris and Corey. Later. And Dave. See ya. And Donnie. Lates. Whichever of our Dave Morgan presents more gooder than a Dave Morgan joint by Dave Morgan is your favorite. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta say that again. It's so silly. It's very right. being John Malkovich. Dave yeah. Morgan, Dave Morgan, Dave Morgan. <laughs> oh man. We did say what the movies were last episode, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, let me try that again.